Boom. I want you to, I want you to hear me twice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put that shit on. Put Please it over your stop ears. this. Whatever this is. No, over your ears. Please. It's not on your ears. Please. I'm gonna put it in my ass in a second. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Near you? <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> That'll that? show them. <laughs> Who is that? That'll show who's boss. When yeah. I put these headphones in Freddy my Gibbs. butt. That's what Freddie Gibbs was Freddy. thinking. Freddie Gibbs. You know, you know what will really show you? Once I spread these cheeks. That's what I'll show you that brown eye. Whoa. That's one way to hang up on somebody. <laughs> Showing off that boochie cat. <laughs> he hung up on a phone on his ass. His baby mama called. Hey. He hung up with his, his, with his butthole. <laughs> he, hung up, he hung up with his stinker. <laughs> Hey babe, this this baby's coming, and I'm not sure if you're gonna beep 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 beep. <laughs> oh, speaking of babies coming, did y'all see Kevin Gates' Instagram story? It will get there. Mike's still pushing this button though. That's that's the crazy part. Yo, so yeah, I haven't brought back like Smash the Button Gang in a minute. You have, huh? You do it every week. <laughs> you do it every week. I haven't done it. In the that's how you know you don't listen to the episodes. He no, doesn't. I don't. He doesn't. I don't. <laughs> All right, we're back to that. Wow. Mike's Mike's not a real beater. Uh-uh. The fakest beater. Biggest beat. He can't even name five porn stars right now. I'm a sometime. Oh, come on. Why would you? Why would I, 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 <laughs> he's about to be a whole I'm the source. Five, we're at a minute already. I can give you five porn stars over five nine. <laughs> what? I'm not right. interested. I can give you the stats. <laughs> right. Give me the stallions. Okay. You got a little D. Baby D? He's about five eight. He I was talking about women. God. No, 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 no. I thought he was no. one of those. You think I care about men's height? <laughs> I care about tall women. Men got that the height to get the leverage. Please, man. What is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. my God. Yeah, Lamont, this is your fault. Okay, yeah, this, this is list. definitely my fault. <laughs> oh, wrong no. major. That's the wrong... I right. think I think Chris Yashu was on the in, on the cusp. I thought you about to say nah, he got to be above five nine. Nah, all these niggas you think they're tall. The camera adds like six inches, and mm. I don't mean that way because <laughs> they don't need additions on that end. They don't. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are y'all agreeing? Please, it's been two it's minutes. Don't say y'all. No. <laughs> like if you give a roundabout, how old, how tall do you think Mr. Marcus is? I don't know. Five eleven. No, he's like 5'10". That nigga's like... Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's like, nah, I don't know. I'm about to say, there's no... Yo, <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> Jason Love is... is uh, he, he's definitely over 5'9". Nah, that nigga's tall as shit. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok. That, that motherfucker's a giant. That nigga, <laughs> he got high in me. But then you be like, oh, he has everything. That's but then he fact. starts talking. I'm like, there it goes. Like, oh, there's, there's the takeaway. Wax the brain set. That's what God took away from him. He's a fucking moron. <laughs> Story time. <laughs> that nigga be tripping over his own word. <laughs> that nigga think too fast for himself. <laughs> Story time. <laughs> so Story over the over the gave me the Glock Glock three thousand. <laughs> he said, I remember he said like yeah, the girls give me the Glock Glock three thousand. More like the Glock Glock fifteen hundred. Because she can only take <laughs> half so that of it. Too. Oh wow. I was like, that's okay, actually, man. That's actually pretty good for him. And then he was like, I saw her go over to the director, and then she looked at me real sad. And the director said, oh, Jason, she loves you. She wants to do more work with you, but she don't think that she can handle what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, well, as long as you write my check, because I'm here. So. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, she's get paid. She can't what, handle what, what happens what next. What happens next? <laughs> <laughs> they do the that's sex. That's a porn star. Yeah. That's a porn star. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, ah, what happens next? <laughs> she's like, she's, I'm already mopping this nigga off, and this is laborious. <laughs> I can't even get it all in my mouth. You think oh. I'm taking it in my cooch? Okay. <laughs> I can't feel my hand to run. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to pick up a giant bottle. It's, it's like gonna, palm in a basket. I'm going to put this nigga in a headlock just to jerk him off. <laughs> is this a dick or a PVC pipe? <laughs> I didn't know I was in a pipe fitters union. I start, start paying my dues to the local 317. I knew it was a union gal. Got good insurance, though. <laughs> Got real good insurance. Real good insurance. <laughs> hey, man, they pal, I'm part of the union. Yo, pipe fitters, 317 out of local Los Angeles. <laughs> How'd you get in the union, uh, St- Stacy Sucks? <laughs> well, you know, I got broke into the union about 2022. I uh, I did some uh, some contract work with the you know with the with the with the Prince Yashua Corp and Bank and uh, Brazzers. 
You know, they got some real big pipes over there. <laughs> now, you know, I, I did a little real polishing off of the big. knobs and the pipes and fit in there. Uh, they, they saw fit to put me in the union. I've been a part of the union ever since. It's been a really good time. <laughs> Wow, the, the New York accent is crazy. <laughs> exactly. All the niggas, <laughs> all the niggas have the union. Ever? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> that is how they say. I'm a union gal. You union know what I'm guy. saying? You know. Oh yeah, <laughs> I took a job one time. Took a one job at the, at the with the union. They set me up with a guy called uh, with a with a with a with a with a company called uh, 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 Sh- uh, Sh- Shorty Mac Industries. <laughs> That's the goat right there. Shorty Mac and Cole. Sh- goat? That's the goat Shorty right there. Shorty Mac and Son. <laughs> Mac and Son. His son between yeah, his pants. His legs. Shorty Mac and Son. It was, it's, it's, it's my Family only, business. It's my, <laughs> it's my only uncompleted job to this day. <laughs> that, so that like first two minutes is all porn references. <laughs> only the most degenerate of the sickest of the sick will laugh. And if you did laugh, you actually can be my friend. <laughs> um, but what's going on, everybody? It's not that serious. Pa, ha, 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 Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to focus, guys. Sorry, sorry. We're gonna have to step. Don't, don't you, don't no, no, no. you dare! Come on, guys. Steph is wild. Come on, go ahead. Come we're on, good. We're good. We can, we're, we can do this. We can we're professionals. <laughs> we can't because just, ah. You see that, Pat? We were talking about you. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> your voice is, is <laughs> your voice is velvety. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you like you speak, it's like a behind the back. Good. <laughs> right now, your voice is edging us. <laughs> Whoa. What's what's the Speak sound? What's the sound? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Do what's it. the sound? Do it. Do it. Push that shit out. People want this. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so crazy, bro. <laughs> it's a not that serious broadcast, <laughs> aka the best broadcast in the multiverse mm. in the porn industry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> is there porn podcast? It, maybe there has hard. to be. Yeah, the they be doing like Draymond, like af- right after porn, they just going. So let me tell you about the scene <laughs> I just did. <laughs> boy, oh boy, they need to right mm-hmm. after scenes like, like they give honest criticism. That'd be funny. Like yeah, uh, when you did the reach around, I really, really didn't know what you were going for. <laughs> but honestly, I I, I saw them, it. I, it, I, yeah. I saw it through. The tank turned out pretty nice. <laughs> I think that was beneficial for me and the viewer. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But um, that dude, that dude that we don't like no more, Adam Twenty Two, mm-hmm. his Damn. girl does porn. Yeah, and then they have porn stars. They have like a podcast where they have porn stars on. Ah, uh, yeah. And they yeah. do a scene with the porn stars from. Really, that they interview? Yeah, like right after they do a scene. Oh, that. Mm. Like the same day. Yeah, like right after they do a scene. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think Adam he he fancies himself kind of mm. halfway a porn star now. Hmm. He be fucking chicks with his girl on like camera. Boo. So I mean, yeah, we don't like Adam Twenty Two though. No, we don't. But mm. I mean, I like the chicks he be fucking. Uh, mm. But yeah, it's your boy uh, Large Michael here. What is going on? It's LZ. Keen is in the building. Lamont, aka Doctor Waffle. MJ. Yep, and we got our uh, our brownish friend, um, RT, <laughs> in the building. Brownish, brownish. I said, I said brownish. Said brownest. Brownish. Oh, he's the brownest. Yeah. yeah, he's the brownest. Mm. He's the brownest without blurring any uh, African lines. <laughs> um, yeah. RT in the building. Um, That's good. Yeah. What else is going? Uh, well, hey. Hey. Guys. Hi. How's everybody doing? Good. We're good. good. Everybody's good. Everybody's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. So uh, Lamont, you just seen a film? I did. How? What, what was the film? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I'm mm. sorry, not film movie because that's the same a, thing. Nah, that was a no, film. No, 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 now, like with the MC already transitioning to new like I, uh, uh yeah, yeah. IP, they, I guess without IPs, spoiling, is like, that is that the right word? I mean, like new heroes. I know they later in this year they have the the Marvels movie coming up. 
That's probably not going to be a hitter. It's going to be like Captain Marvel, the one black girl, and then the uh, the little Hispanic Marvel that they had a whole Disney Plus show about. Mm-hmm. That show was that definitely sounds, Miss Marvel. Like, not well received. That sounds like that's gonna, also an all-girl team? Yeah. Stinky. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Stinky. Not it's because okay. they're all women. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Yes, it is. It's, it's not. Come it's on. not. It's yo, not. You, yo, listen. You're on a podcast to speak your mind. I it's, am. The, it's all it, girls. it ain't got to be. It's all girls, so it stinks. Oh, my God. What what all girl thing do you watch? Not Charlie's Angels that's not ass. The uh, girlfriends. <laughs> Nigga, UPN TV? We're talking about but uh no the uh the the women's twenty one uh twenty one oceans twelve or oceans thirteen oceans those, no. one of the oceans with oceans all eight yeah mm. whichever one it was oceans that wasn't a bad movie what's it called ocean something I know watching the one, Rih- the one uh, Rihanna was in it yeah well first of all that already tells me everything I need to know because she can't act. she's a better actor than Beyonce. I don't, right. think that's, I don't think I don't that's think true. we we're, need we're, that we're, straight. We're, and when we're down there, we're playing in different degrees of shit. So it's like, <laughs> what's the point? Because one's a solid turret. Once just you liquid. get down different there, degrees of it shit. all stinks. So <laughs> no, she wasn't bad in the movie. She really wasn't bad. That one did she play like somebody in the Navy in one movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was that movie. Ship. No, 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 no. no, no, no that was a different movie. movie. She's uh, a different you, movie. Battleship. Yeah, because just, our Navy person is the same as a robber. <laughs> it's the same as a WNBA player. But the same as hey, a street hustler. Hey, hey, at <laughs> least she doesn't play main characters. She's just like oh, yeah, no, she's a always little a, island yeah. thing yeah. on the side. She shouldn't play no characters. Nah, she's Rihanna. You know, she's like, Rihanna. Same Rihanna. Rihanna actually, Rihanna y'all know how well. bad she is. Yeah, Rihanna's not a. I, she's, not, she's she's just Rihanna. She just Mike, plays you herself. don't know how bad she is. You never watched it, so stop it. I've seen her in movies before. What movie? I seen the movie with the fucking the one with Childish Gambino, that movie. Ah. She didn't talk. Yeah. She that doesn't have count. Any lines. <laughs> it was damn near a silent film. Okay. <laughs> if you didn't see that, Childish Gambino dies at the end. What? <laughs> wow, I didn't, so thank you. It, it's been out for four years. I don't care. Spoiler. I don't care how y'all feel. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. No, I also can't wait to spoil some shit. <laughs> no, I, That's his favorite pastime. <laughs> it's, it's been out. Who cares? It's been out for mad long. Mario. It's yeah. been out he for gets a star, and he, he, he kills Bowser. <laughs> I do want to see Super he Mario. He decapitates Bowser. It's on, it's on Plex. It's on Plex. Yo, I told you, my Plex's not working. Oh, I got to talk to my man. Shout out to my boy. Yeah. We'll get that fixed. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Probably watch that very soon. Yeah, but anyway, she didn't. Yo, she didn't speak in that movie. Good. Now, what movie did I see her in? No. I gotta look. I gotta look up her. Description. You didn't see her. You didn't see. No, her. I've seen her in. Movie. I, I, I'm trying to remember which one. It's it sounding like you've never seen this woman in a movie. No, it was. It so was I was like, Mike's just a part of He Man Woman Hitters Club. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. huh. <laughs> like even if I rascals. didn't see her, which I did, <laughs> making a strong bet that she's a gr- not a good actress is not a fucking. No, nah, you're, you're not be, far off. I mean, I'm not great. Yeah. Tolerable, but she's yeah. never like a nobody's a asking to be main Viola. character. Yeah, That's she wasn't like yeah. She's never been a Beyonce in Fighting Temptations. She's never had that role. That's right because she didn't get. The, she won't get the chance. She definitely could. She could. She could probably chance. do a better I, job. We ain't. I can see Rihanna nobody being signing up for a full movie of that. I can see Rihanna being in a horror film. Excuse me. Hmm? You tell me that no director would be like Rihanna. We want you to headline this movie. I can see. No, I did whole... not say no director because if I was a director, obviously, of course. But like, <laughs> she's not getting her own movie unless she banks rolls that thing. Okay. Because and on, and on top of that, we don't. They don't make those kind of movies no more. They don't. So straight to Netflix. If she would, straight to if, Hulu. She, if she was like on straight a Netflix, she probably could do a Netflix movie. <laughs> straight to Prime. Yeah, that's what that <laughs> Charles Gambino shit was. But yeah. if she, but I was like, yeah, it was Amazon Prime. She would. I'm gonna say this. She will never be in a movie, mm. starring in a movie that's going to theaters. Never. Okay. I'm not. There's nothing wrong with that. But, but she was part of the main women cast in that Oceans movie. That's what I'm saying. So like she her her name was on the but you said poster. she had minimal lines in that movie so how could she no be? she was part of like you know the main cast she was part of the cast mm. part of the people whose names on the thing but she really doesn't have that many lines yeah like when she's part of the attraction when they showed you the trailer they they gave you Rihanna like it was like oh also Rihanna's in this movie she's <sighs> just like in, was just like ca- in ticket can you guess uh, just like in Stomp the Yard there was like Chris Brown. <laughs> Yeah, and but that nigga was gone within eight minutes. Within eight Can you guess what role she played in the uh, the heist team? I, <laughs> the one that distracts everybody. <laughs> I didn't even see. I guess. they made her. The, they made her the computer bitch. You've seen a couple films. 
<laughs> I use this torrent I found off LimeWire. <laughs> what is this? Something called a VPN? <laughs> <laughs> You're out to IP address to Copenhagen and then you bring it back. And they be pressing hella keys and they're like, and I'm on Muts and 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 hacking into the VPN now and then he said in Copenhagen. Everything will be airy. Irie <laughs> gave her Jamaican. Oh, I said, why she Jamaican? Oh. Barbadian or whatever oh, the fuck she my is. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Rihanna. Love oh my God, Rihanna, smart. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear. That. I love Rihanna though. Don't, I do too. Don't, yeah, Rihanna. It's all don't juice. mistake this for I don't like Rihanna because I love Rihanna. Because <laughs> like, we, at the end of the day, goddamn it, a spade is a spade, and a mm-hmm. bad actress is a bad actress. You know someone that um, I'm a fan of visually, but she seems to not be in good movies. <laughs> I love that I'm a fan of visually. <laughs> Who? Anna de Armas. Who's that? You probably don't know her. She's, Who, she's which Cuban. Which white woman is this? She's Cuban. Cuban? <laughs> she's a, she was in Knives Out. <laughs> when, I say, yeah, yeah. when I say white hey, woman, hey, it's different hey, to visit. Hey, 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 she's Cuban. Cuban. She's Anna, spicy hey. white. What's her Anna name? What? Anna de Armas. What movies was she in? A couple films. She was in uh, the James Bond movie. She was in Knives Out. Um, Ooh, she do have some nice eyes. Oh, wow. I remember her. She has nice eyes. But, um... Yeah, she does have Yeah, nice she's eyes. just... Yeah. She seems like she's just in bad movies. Knives yeah. Out was a good movie. No, other than that. Okay. Like, what was Knives Out? I've never seen that. Ah, that's a good movie. Yeah, it's actually a very good movie. It's like a mystery thriller type thing mm. with uh, Daniel Craig. Hmm. He's mm. playing like a... A British guy. No, no, British. no. British, Australian. He's, no, he's playing like a uh, a Louisiana detective. He is. Louisiana. Yeah. Oh, he, did you oh, see the Cajun second? guy? Yeah, Cajun guy. Yeah. Did, did you see the second one? Yeah. That was cool. Mm, that one was not cool. as good, but I do declare. Madeline yeah, that's exactly how, yeah. how he was talking. He's not foghorn leghorn. Yes. Yeah. I say, I say, I say. Uh, <laughs> show me them titties. <laughs> that's a different version, but I yeah. declare. <laughs> yeah, um, she she definitely has a uh, captivating eyes. But yeah, that's a. <laughs> but uh, welcome, guys, to the podcast. We already introduced ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you uh, download and check in those numbers and all that good stuff. Hit us on all the uh, social media sites. You know, everything's in the in the gosh darn link tree. Uh, shout out to all the Patreon users and subscribers. Uh, I think we're gonna, one day we're going to do like, I'm just going to name a couple of them so they feel special. Maybe not. I don't know. We can, we can do that. Who knows? Yo, um, apparently Hasbulla, you know, the little. little Hasbulla? 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 Oh. <laughs> Hasbulla apparently got arrested for a traffic violation. <laughs> he can drive? Did they give? I, w- I want to know if they gave him little handcuffs. <laughs> nah, it just made him tighter. Made nah, him tighter. They they the handcuff only goes so tight. They just put one across <laughs> one both of his wrists. Just... Nah, because after... him by the collar like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Pick no, he's... Yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently, he got arrested for a traffic violation with some of his friends, hmm. um, in Dagestan. Dagestan. Is it Dagestan? Is it Dagestan? Dagestan. 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 Yeah, that's where they got that arrested. Was funny. <laughs> I was just. Like, you know, he's like a super, super, super devout Muslim. Yeah. Like, he doesn't take pictures with women. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's that devout? Yeah. Like, he, he's them. Like, he's one of those women don't touch me Muslims. Like, oh, God. Like, Kareem was in his early years. <laughs> uh-huh. The early, early Kareem. Early Milwaukee Buck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the Lou Alcindor years. Not Lou Alcindor. The Kareem. The early Kareem. Where he's like this. You know when you do something new, it's like this means so much to me. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, he don't take he don't take no pictures with me. He don't party. Hmm. And then, <laughs> yeah. Damn, I didn't I didn't know he was that far in. But every time I think it was Hezbollah, I think of when he was on the Mike Tyson podcast. Uh, Mike Tyson thought he was actually a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson, treating him like, like a child. Yeah, he's like, like kiss, him, actual... him, kissing him on the neck. Come on, come here, come here little baby. Like kissing actual... him on, he was kissing him on the but neck. What are you doing that situation? That nigga's 30. <laughs> you got to let him do that, though, right? I, he didn't have a choice. He just, it's I'm Mike Tyson. You. Like if, that, if you're a Hezbollah, right? I'm not talking about Even if it's grown me and Mike Tyson does that to me, I don't have a choice. What am I going to do? He's like, oh, Mike, Mike. That's a that's a small man. <laughs> that's not a baby. What? What do you mean? He's the same size as a, as a, as a little baby. He though. looks like a baby. What do you mean he's not a baby? He's the same size as a baby. I don't understand. There's baby. something wrong with pit- pituitary going. <laughs> he got Yo, disease. Yo, Mike Tyson saying pituitary <laughs> gland might put me in a coffin, nigga. Oh, God. Pituitary. <laughs> pituitary. 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 Shut up. <laughs> Sound like fucking Tweety Bird. <laughs> <with> CTE. 
Pitote. Es un muy pitote, güey. Oh, my God. Oh, baby. He's like, but he's not a baby, Mike. But he's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Let me try and burp him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not the bourbon. Let me burp that Henny shot out of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh boy. All right. So real quick, everybody. Mm. How is everybody's week going? We're gonna start with uh, Keenan. Keenan, how was your week, buddy? Uh, week was cool. Um, went to a gun range yesterday. Shot my first gun. I saw that. Oh wow. How yeah. was that? Did? Yeah. yeah. And Why? Because uh, Keanu shoots. So oh, okay. well, she's from the south. Yeah, you know? she is she, from the south. Mm-hmm. She got her own, her own yami. So oh shit, yeah. she's the protector she got of the a house. Blicky? Yeah, and she in PA too. So she really got the blicky. She open carry. No, no, but she can. Stick, she definitely stick, can. Stick, stick, she she put it on her chest. <laughs> stick, 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 and let it. Yeah, I'll be walking around with this. <laughs> I put that shit in my bun. That means you niggas running the house. Kid got me. Baby, get the gun. <laughs> Instead Bro, of two, baby, got the truck. I told her I'm Instead like, yo, two chopsticks. She got two guns. Yeah, two guns in the bun. We hear a noise. I'ma look at her like, handle it. <laughs> You're the trained one. Baby, Come get on, the, get the stick. <laughs> you shoot it. Oh. Keenan's wrapped up in his robe. <laughs> yeah. He's clutching it at the. <laughs> Please oh, covering his oh, bosom. Oh, but it got the <laughs> cover. On. Is it safe? <laughs> Is it safe Aye. to come back? <laughs> kill, kill it! Kill it! Kill <laughs> it! Kill it! Baby, get the gun. <laughs> get the get. Get the get. get the. Baby, but get the gun. How was that, though? How oh, was it shooting a gun? Boy, like, let me tell you. Uh, my hands have never shook more in my life. What do you mean? Well, I just... I was... Oh, man, loud enough. Uh, like, you were nervous? Yes. Why? Did you think you were going to turn around and shoot yourself? No. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because like, like just don't want to take him. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't fight it. <laughs> Definitely never. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, just 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 like having it in your hand and like actually pulling back all, on, all that power. Yeah, that, that first. Poof, like Damn. I was like, oh, put your balls clinch up, bro. And the thing is, I didn't even shoot first. She shot first. Uh-huh. Mm. So her and you the, and, and the sideways, other man. person. Yeah, and the rain shot at the same time, so she was loud as hell. Mm. I started sweating. I'm like, God damn, hold on, <laughs> like it's real, it's really real. <laughs> like, hold on, <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm saying it was cool. You know what I'm saying like, like I don't got a weak shot. Like you know I'm saying, like and you only shot one type of gun. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She uh, uh, she got a uh, we shot nine millimeter bullets. I'm guessing something like that. I don't know my guns. Uh, Excuse yeah, me, I don't know my guns either. So. Um, I had my hand in the wrong spot, and one of the shells hit me and burnt my hand and cut me up. Like, oh fuck. How the fuck? Because I had it on the back and the underneath. Oh my god. Won't do that again. Um <laughs> Hold on, what? How are you holding this gun? Yeah. So like You're holding it with your pinkies, nigga? <laughs> yeah, with his feet. Said on the back? <laughs> nah, yo. Nah. <laughs> 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 nigga Tiz. Did y'all see that video? Yes. He was like, when the girl was like, is it gay to lay on uh, to oh. fall asleep on your stomach? And he was like, hold on, dickhead. And he had to How you supposed to protect the house of you? Nigga, it's sleeping on your, on your stomach. stomach. Nigga, you like, won't see this one coming. Feet. <laughs> Nigga, this shit is feet. He said, hold on, dickhead, Nigga bow. did a headstand. <laughs> it was like, what's up? He He's like, two of these bitches. Yeah, but uh, like, no, like, I, like, so I had it, and then, like, I had my hand here, so underneath, like that, so, like, it, it was just... When the clip, like, when the bullet so came when out... So when the shell came out, it hit my hand and burnt it. I was yeah. like, fuck, like, that actually kind of hurt a little bit. He was like, ah! <laughs> no, 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 definitely He's not still that. here, no. But, uh, again, yeah, I'm saying it was, it was cool. It was, it was, I definitely got to do more, because, uh, you know... I can't let people think, you know, I'm pussy out here in these streets. Sure. Yes. Yes. Right. So you shooting a gun <laughs> and it burning yourself does not make people think you're pussy. <laughs> yeah, the gun rings like, ha, ah, you hit my head. <laughs> it burns. That, that gives you the it not pussy. Burn. Did anyone bring any meal sport? <laughs> I almost <laughs> asked the uh, people. you had a band-aid? Sir, do you have any ice? <laughs> Sir. I definitely would like to take my head ice, out. ice, please? And ask if they had a band-aid, but I'm like, nah. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. It's an emergency, please. I burnt my hand. I just want niggas to not think I'm pussy out here. I gotta move. <laughs> it's so hot. It burned. Stop. Uh, and yeah. Stop. Other than that, you know, regular week. Good, nice. good. good for you. Lamont. What's new up? beginnings for you this week? I have, yeah. How's it today? First, oh. Today was your first day? Yeah, today was my first day. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in that beautiful spot. Right? Orientation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just full pay, no expectations. Just paying attention. Mm-hmm. Mm, not even sometimes. Yeah, not even. <laughs> just listening. Oh. You know, just not. Just there. 
You know the- physically. <laughs> and wait, are you in my house? I'm about to say you're training at home, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's oh nice. man, just went. All right, did you go? Did you go just top up professional <laughs> to bottom down? Nothing. I was wearing a. Nah, I was wearing a uh, what a, a half zip, just in my house wearing uh, a half zip and like a t-shirt. Oh, okay. I'm just like. You had no pants on, right? Nah, I had pants on, Keenan. Oh, what? Bro, give it, give it two weeks. I wear pants. <laughs> give it two in weeks. my own house. Bro, you supposed to Winnie, you're supposed to be Winnie, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh behind the camera. I think only you would do that. <laughs> It was like ass out Cause, cause, cause what a necktie on Why am I feeling constricted <laughs> Below the waist I'm what? home You know why he does that Because he used to wear him Bottomless in, in that kitchen <laughs> I mean, mm. Wearing bottomless With those orange TV he used, go, he used to go on bottomless yeah. No it wasn't full bottom that. It was just like I can imagine A little bit, little bit below the cheek he he used, like, You used to get ass the, cheeks got the pajama on top <laughs> on the seat You can't go full the pajama full ass cheeks <laughs> He just opened up the flap. Kenny got a pajama with the flap for sure. No, with the buttons on nah, the butt, and no. the flap is broken. No, <laughs> but he still wears it. <laughs> so it's just always out. Yeah. He just, he, he, the flap broken, but he just still <laughs> wears them. Just nah. his butt out. That's um, they've been broken so much. He just cut the flap. First of all, who the fuck made those and was like, yeah, that. I mean, I guess it's too like if you're going out to the outhouse and you just gotta, you know. Get, that's exactly what business. it's for. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you just hey, yeah, we gotta go. You that's know? dirty as hell. Yeah, but you're, you're cold. Mm-hmm. But the crazy part is, usually when you see them, it's not even like it don't even cover the right part of your ass. It's like high up. Like I mean, it's yeah, a full flap, so you know, it comes down once sure. you sit down. Like uh, mm-hmm. I guess okay, yeah, when you sit down, it kind of yeah, adjusts. Yeah, yeah. yeah f- f- further down your back. You gotta do the old man pants. Yeah, thank you. I never, I, I ain't never had those before, so I don't really know how to work. But so do y'all? Like, so that's a good question. Do you guys have like, um, like pajama wear, like? Clothes that you only wear to bed, nah, or around the house like loungewear. I yeah, mean, nah, usually yeah. I just sleep my underwear or naked. Oh, so, likewise, but I do have pajama bottoms. So what I do have, I, I <laughs> pajamas. I've been into some recently that um, because <laughs> you know which ones he's talking about. Them Elmo shits, ain't you? I do have Elmo PJs. <laughs> them, black also, and, them black and red Elmo Jones. I also <laughs> have Stewie PJs. <laughs> I have Bazinga PJs. But then you know I got the regular oh adult God, blue and blue and green, you know. Because uh, I want you to know that's the first. This is the first adult thing you're about to say. The plaid, that's the, yeah, the plaid one. First off, my PJs don't tell me Mike, what, what kind of man I say. What I was going to say was I have some house lounge where mm. um, I have a muumu. A what? Like a big shirt? Yeah. Okay. Sir, Mike, I know you ain't walking around looking like a bad bitch, sir. I do. He's first off, <laughs> no, he's okay. first off. So let me let me tell the story. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I can't ask that question because <laughs> where'd you get the shirt? <laughs> Where'd I get it? Yes, did you buy it then, or did you get it from somebody? <laughs> yeah, I got it from somebody. Huh? What man? Huh? Who so. gave? Oh, what big woman <laughs> clothes did you take? <laughs> Mike, who gave you that? So Mike got the Jack be nimble. <laughs> <laughs> Jack be Jack nimble. Be quick. Yeah, I, every night, like when I want to go to the bathroom, I get that and a candlestick, and I just <laughs> in my sleep hat, and I just shirt down to his knees. <laughs> oh, I'll go to hell. I, I like it a lot. Walk around so, with the back stuck so in between his butt cheeks. Just, just walk. <laughs> so what you I know do. it's gonna get stuck in between. <laughs> so what I get in? Strutting through the house. So, <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, 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 what's all that movement back there? What's all that, what's movement, all that movement back there? What's all that movement back there? So <laughs> what happened was like, <laughs> I guess because the way my room was situated in my house, uh-huh. I had to walk through the whole, pretty much the whole public. I would have to go through my living room and the kitchen. Yeah, every living space to get to the bathroom. Every living space to get to the bathroom. Yeah. And sometimes, yo, sometimes I'm just going with drawers. <laughs> okay. And I guess my grandparents were tired of that. <laughs> so they was like, here, nigga. <laughs> this has been this has been called. We went through the robe phase. Like I don't like the robe. Okay. That's yeah, I'm, I'm not a robe person. That's a lot of like, I, don't I don't like, like robes. robes. I don't like yeah. robes. But there's like here, take this. <laughs> like we found this. This nine X t shirt. This nine X Mumu. That's the Corey Badlands Booker. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hat to go with the it. Badlands Booker. Here's the fucking the Ralphie May Mumu. <laughs> Motherfucking R.I.P. Ralphie May. R.I.P. Ralphie May. That was a big boy. Yeah. Oh my God. You you you, you wear Bruce, this when Bruce you, Bruce me. When you want to go to the Bruce Bruce Moo. The Bruce Bruce Moo. The oh Bruce Bruce Moo. Moo. <laughs> so when you wear that motherfucker, when you want to go to the bathroom, you wear that. Oh. And I just be wearing it, and it's like, oh, this is nice. And I don't have to wear no underwear under it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let that okay. swing. It really goes down to it your knees. It goes all the way down right here. <laughs> so I throw that bitch on. I be like, 
I just be flowing, that, strutting, <laughs> strutting. Not a problem. Like when I get up in the morning, because when I get up in the morning to go to work, get ready to like go to work, mm-hmm. I go to the living room. My grandfather works up very early, mm-hmm. so by the time I'm going to the get to go take a shower in the morning, mm-hmm. he's sitting there in the living room just chilling, watching mm-hmm. suit, suit and tie. <laughs> All right, he's been to the gym already. He's an animal. He's an animal. He's an animal. We, he's an animal. We used to see him. We used to see him. I see him every day. I don't. <laughs> I don't used to. See him. <laughs> I used to see him at We used to see him in the gym. That's crazy. Um <laughs> but no, he's a yo, know, he's a super soldier. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't What's believe me and him are the same bloodline. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Neither can he. <laughs> this can't Neither be my can grandson. He, yeah. he sees Mike walking through with a big ass. <laughs> I think <laughs> he shakes his head like <laughs> where is my family just gone? <laughs> He's, he's keeping up the lineage. Yeah. He's, he's giving up on me. He's like, I got one more left. <laughs> he just, he's, he's just looking at my little brother like, please. He's like, damn it, the Haven. <laughs> like, you didn't even do anything. He's like, damn it, the Haven. Like, what? Let there just, just be one. Around. He was just here. Fucking shirt tucked in his ass. What? <laughs> you ain't gonna pick it. I just, huh. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta fart my moo moo out my ass. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> God damn. Ew. And then, and then you watch it f- flatter by flutter. <laughs> oh my god! Run my genetics back. <laughs> He's just where has my family gone? I think, I think my grandfather started respecting probably like just last year. <laughs> Me and him cool though. Why? <laughs> what happened last? He was year? Working full time. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's because that's one thing he he like he he said he won. I remember one time we was talking. He was like, you know what? Me and we having our differences, but one thing I do, you you go to work. I'm like, as you should. Thank you. <laughs> That's the one thing you got in common. That's the niggas one. need to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. No, and it's funny because, yo, we would think, like, me, me and my grandfather, we've been on Oz's, like, growing up. We weren't really that, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, like, we got, we just, I just don't ever see that being our relationship is whatever, and mm-hmm. that's fine. But he's very liberal when he talks about certain political things. Mm-hmm. It's just, I just be surprised, like yeah. when he talks about stuff. Why? Because he's older. Yeah, like you know, he's a super deacon in the church. He's like, mm. listen, if a man want to be a woman, that's his business. I'm like, well, oh, shit, pop oh, up. All right, pop up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you absolutely right. Dude, actually. You, Can't. okay. <laughs> Can you about to lose his mind? Oh, See, this is why I wanted to turn the fucking. But game I'm still on. listening. We're still, we're still engaged. Go ahead. Yeah. Whenever the camera's on Dennis Schroeder, I know he did something stupid, even if I'm not watching. Exactly. He, <laughs> exactly. He just got that dumbass look on his face with that fucking ugly blonde patch. Anyway, go ahead. Still man. rocking with that shit. He need to let that later. shit go. Like if Wiz leave it, if the originator of the thing gave it up, you need to give it up. You want to talk about a comeback story? His hairline, because yeah, it, it definitely. Came. Yo, you ever seen his wife, Dennis Schroeder? She bad. Look up his wife right now. Ugly niggas always be having the baddest wives, bro. I'm afraid not. Oh, oh. I was like ugly. This is gonna be very rude content <laughs> as people simultaneously look up. Yeah, look it up. Look it up the same time. Uh, don't look it up while you're driving. We'll do that for you. Because <laughs> I know I've done that too. And he's looking stuff like when I'm listening to a podcast. And I'm What's driving. wrong with her? Huh? What's wrong with her? Eh. She. Hey, hold on. If Let I'm me right. guess. She's eh. white. She's of definitely white. That's I mean, what's wrong with her? I mean, he's yeah. from Germany, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Boris Kojic's from Germany too. He is. Uh, he's his a name Boris Kojo. What, <laughs> what, what the fuck does the, he could have the name Boris Kojo and still what be from America? Camden, you know, named Bur- Boris. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. nobody from Camden. Not a great. You know what I? You know what the fuck? She, she all right. Fucking. She all right. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna slander that white woman. She's okay. I am. I slander ball. I slander ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No white woman is above my slander. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I, I want that printed on my grave. <laughs> when you're too soon, no, no white, white woman, woman was above, above his slander. slander. Sunrise here lies. Slander. Here lies Michael. No <laughs> white woman was above his slander. And I'm going to look up proud. <laughs> look up proud. You know, have a glass to a glass. <laughs> oh, my God. Bird in that moo-moo, too. <laughs> Bury me in my moo-moo. That's my ancestors would have wanted. <laughs> But nah, yo, that movie was late. I don't care what the fuck y'all say. I would, I would just, I would just be pulling it up like ninety times to poop. Okay. So that might be the first time. <laughs> it was TMI. Nah, man, invest in a movie, y'all. That shit lit. No. no. And once I got, I was like, that's this is what. No, that's... When I put it on for the first, like, oh, this is what the grannies are up in the hub up about. Yeah, that's what they be wearing. Right? Yeah, they don't wear drawers either. Mm. That's how they. Now, I know, I, they I'm say pretty, that's how they was keeping men. I ho- I, mm. Listen. 
No, nah, they just yeah. had other one. They just had other families down the street. Honestly, yeah. I have one more question before we continue. I'm sorry, this this just just pops in my head as I. Hey, this is a podcast. Yo, y'all have like a a, a woman a item of clothing that's like not conventional on a woman, or something about something that's something that turns you on about a woman that she wears or that she has this before. That's like mm, not common, but like it does it for you. Because I got I got one for me. Um. I don't know. Not you go first. Conventional. I'll start it off. Bonnets get me every time. Bonnets? Really? Oh, I love them. Ooh. Over the ears or tucked behind the ears? Both. Really? This sounds like Corey's missing tooth tweet. <laughs> that's that's a health problem. That was funny. <laughs> Corey's that's, an idiot. That, that's was, a, that's that a, was funny. That's a dental <laughs> issue. I'm talking yeah. about a, a um, bonnet that you choose to wear. I don't know. I don't. I can't think of anything that women wear that's oh, I like something bonnet. unconventional. Like ooh, not like, that's unconventional. I said. Uh, I mean, I like when the uh, the purse straps between the, the boots. <laughs> That's that's a win for me right there. Boobs in a chokehold, like no, it's just like a Yo, that's like so a random. <laughs> Walking around with a seatbelt across her chest. Look at that like, purse. Mm, Look at that purse sitting like, between the titties. Like oh, she's titties. secure. <laughs> that purse sitting between your titties. Just like oh, wow. extra clean. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's like definitely. a double double clean. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, the purse is struggling, or are the titties struggling? I can't mm. decide. Mm. Timeless battle. <laughs> That's so random. I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm trying to think of something that I do like. <laughs> I don't know, or something that I don't like. An article of clothing that I don't like on women. I don't like rompers. Hmm. I'm yeah, not a romper fan. I like they fit. Yeah, they, they fit weird. It looks like a fucking a big uh, a full body diaper. <laughs> yeah, pretty. And that's exactly what it is. They got to take the whole thing off just to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, I'm not a romper fan. I'm not. I mean, it works for some people more than others. That's just a closed mumu. <laughs> yeah. 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 A mumu, a mumu with boundaries. Yeah, yeah. boundaries. Uh, a, a repressed mumu. Yeah, nasty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was cool. Uh, what did I do? Just work, obviously. You've had an eventful week. Has he? I mean, it wasn't eventful for me. It was eventful for other niggas. I mean, you've seen a lot. Yeah. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but nah, I, I want to get. I nah. want. Yeah, I want. Nah. I, I know people been asking for K Dot. I want K Dot to come back so he can tell this story. Perfect. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get that, that nigga crazy. Niggas looking for him. Yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> niggas looking for him. Now we'll get K Dot back to tell that story. Just know that you know he had a situation that happened. But other than that, yeah, I was just regular DJ shit. Um, I mean, I guess as far as DJing, I don't know. I, I have some good sets. Like, <laughs> so let's talk about this week and how me. you failed as a friend. What me? Yes. Oh, Bobby V. Yes. No, no, no. Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, the show was actually May twentieth. I got the dates wrong. Uh, okay. So there's still so, time. So you can save your you can save redemption is you on can the table. Yeah. Our friendship. There's still time. It's not this Saturday. It's the following Saturday. So there is still time. Oh, I'm gonna be home that week, bro. Come on, we are gonna see, man. It's I, Bobby V. I, it's Bobby V. Listen, yeah, yeah, barely he be yo. So I was watching. Speaking of Bobby V, mm-hmm. I was watching a TikTok. I guess a girl went to his show, mm-hmm. and apparently he was like really mega horny at the show, like. Mm. Yo, who Not wants to trying to be in our DM, my DM, da, 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 wow. blah, blah, blah. And then uh, <laughs> just like just doing that all night instead of she going to let me beat, beat, beat. She going to let me skeet, skeet, skeet. Hmm. And I guess he said, yo, who going to be in my DM tonight? He said, I had to party my DMs. And I guess some dude in the crowd was like, me. He said, I'll be in your DM like so, or gay, a gay dude, right? He was like. Hmm. Nah, I think that type of party this time. Yeah, all right. This, this time. time. Yeah, the fact this that he time, said, Bobby. This time, hilarious. Yeah. That's self awareness right there. You got to reward. You got to award those. Yeah, I reward him for that. Yeah, for knowing that he that, like don't sweep that under the rug because you did that a couple times. Um, hey, hey, man, you live your live your truth, right? Hey, listen, man. listen. As long as you can make slow down remix, I don't care what you. Do. <laughs> That's legal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I about to say secret about people. We gonna talk about genuine. Did you see what this nigga did? How he took a tumble, falling down, smiling, but kept, but, kept, <laughs> but kept singing. singing. <laughs> He's a, G. And no G. Like I think at this point, genuine has done so many embarrassing things that he's not embarrassed by the bullshit that he does anymore. Nah, it's so part of his act now. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's literally he's part of his stick. Yeah, it is. So like you just expect to see recklessness when genuine is coming through. Speaking of embarrassing, what? Who was the most embarrassed this week? Mr. Frederick. Frederick Gibbs. Is he embarrassed? Because he... You can't you troll think, a troll, bro. You think he's just leaning into it? He can't has troll. to be somewhat embarrassed. You saw, you saw <laughs> the video he posted? What? 
Like he posted, you know, the video was like he called a nigga Spready. <laughs> Spready. <yeah. laughs> Yo, shout out, shout out, shout out to MJ, man. Yeah. Cause I definitely so we, we we make our list every week now. We make a list of like a, we share a note. Mm-hmm. Guys, you're gonna get you're getting real inside behind the scenes podcast stuff right here. Mm-hmm. We have a shared uh note on iPhone where we uh we basically share notes, we put in topics as we think of them. Mm-hmm. Now, me, I know this for a fact. I put in Freddie Gibbs is a deadbeat as a topic suggestion. Now, I come into po- uh pre production today. I check the same list. It has now been changed to Spready Gibbs is a deadbeat. So, uh, thank you, MJ, for that. We needed that. Um, Freddie. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He did a lot. He did a lot and nothing at the same time. That's he, the problem. He did nothing and a lot. Yeah. The fact that he did nothing is the problem. So, apparently, he's got a baby <laughs> and that he's not claiming this baby. The baby's on the way, right? The baby's on the way. Still pregnant. And this is by ex that is a well documented ex, cause like And a well documented porn star too. Mm-hmm. Well yeah, doc- that's, well that's, documented. That's what I'm seeing now. And yeah. she's still working while she's pregnant. Correct. <sighs> yes. What? That was part of the yeah. uh Oh no. Part of the slander. Oh, yeah. she's really getting fucked too and she's pregnant. <laughs> that's his baby. On the Damn. bang is that the bang bus? It looks like. That's bro, bad. she's on the bank would, bus, pregnant. If bro? that's not my girl, I would feel bad. I would feel weird fucking somebody that's pregnant. That's and they're not my. That's not my baby. Yeah, mom. I wouldn't want to. That's that's some porn that I don't. If I'm a porn star, that's give me a mask. I don't want. What I if don't the want, bag's looking right? Come on now, give me a mask because that's a whole porn niche. Like, yeah, it's a whole thing. Give yeah. me a yours. Whew. It's under threesomes. <laughs> wow! Wow! Bang! <laughs> We're downtown. Wow. <laughs> T was like, that, nah. was, that was. That's my type of humor. <laughs> that was. That was... Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, no way. Yeah. Yes, way. Hey, we gotta let that hang. <laughs> <laughs> gotta let that hang. Because that's nuts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he. <laughs> <laughs> she's not only doing that She's like doing like threesomes She's like She's yeah. like in trains and stuff Yeah mm-hmm. But he, And also he The whole thing was He knew that she was a porn star Before oh, they yeah, even yeah. actually started he dating Of course And look. he was fine with it so, But she made sure to clarify that Before she actually like Cause she made a whole thread about the shit We all read this mm-hmm. thread correct? Yeah I, I, I read it I read it like, I read it twice you guys got it. I, that, I, I saw that too shit. many tweets I read, shit, I read that shit two times I read that shit I read that shit Read it for the both And <laughs> Read it for the both of us So she uh yeah, come on, LeBron. You know you're not built like that. Huh? Anyway, keep going. What? Half court threes? He, he, he's a shooter? I, I no, know. Wait, wait. Refocus. Keep going. Spread yeah, you the one. Remember, we're professionals. Yeah. But like, Multitask. He, he, he had, like I said, the sky was green. Multitask. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so like, yeah, they were together. You know, they were enjoying stuff. Apparently, you know how niggas do. They say one thing and mean another. Of mm-hmm. course. Talk about, oh, yeah. I can't wait to have. He was literally like, I can't wait to have our baby, and yeah. we're taking the baseball practice. She said he had been talking and, about that. and this and that, and gave the baby gave him a name like his, the name will be Penny yep. and all this, all that for <laughs> when she gets pregnant. He goes, Oh man, I'm not ready for a baby right now. And, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. and he already has kids, I'm, I believe. Oh, he has many kids. Yeah, at least I thought. And like he's like he's already he's forty. Mm. Um. He's forty, and it's like, what, bro? Man. Yeah, you're, yeah, and you, it's not like he's broke. He got money. Yeah, like, like, just had a yeah, just do what you gotta do. If Hope. you're too ashamed to have a kid with her, don't fuck with her. Yeah, at, at forty, wrong. at pretty 40, much. Yeah, if you at the at, at that big age, yeah. And plus, <laughs> if you're getting her pregnant, nine times out of ten, you're probably fucking her raw. Yeah. So if you're doing that, come on, brother. Mm-hmm. Or get the vasectomy. You got money. Get the vasectomy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Put your little boys on ice. The fuck is the problem? Yeah. What if he thought? He didn't think. I he didn't think. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. He, he, uh, yeah. It, it's, it's, like, uh, it's, it's, it's a very think. childish way of handling yeah, the situation. He, like he handled he, that shit like a like a nineteen year old. Yeah. Mm. He yeah. was sitting there all, on beforehand. Oh, I love you. I can't wait till we have our baby and our baby does this. It's, it'll be the moon and the sun and the stars and our baby and I love <laughs> yeah. it. And then as soon as she goes, I'm pregnant. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm not ready for this. My head's spinning. I really don't. You haven't been talking to me. I know I've just been on the road and on tour. Like, bitch, you've been on tour. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think the the craziest part I got about all that, or one of the craziest things, she was paying his phone bill. Yeah, that's what, what I was gonna say. She, tur- that? she turned his phone off. Like yeah. she said, she hadn't heard from him, so she turned his phone off. Man. I'm gonna say that he probably wasn't broke to pay a phone bill. I think that was just like, yeah, her phone that he uses just for her. Yeah, Maybe. probably. I can't imagine that he 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 is no, it's impossible. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But that makes literal no literal sense at all. So I'm thinking he just like yo, this is the phone I use to contact this chick in. <laughs> But how could he even get off? I don't have a phone in for her to be paying for it. I don't understand because he's had money since they met. Yeah. I don't get it. That, yeah. That's a that's a head scratcher. Maybe. Yeah. Uh-huh. I th- that's probably I the most confusing thing out of all this entire situation. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then she she knows she's upset, and then I guess she ends the whole thread with like, "I can't believe you're acting this way." While the when I have a video of you. <laughs> Spreading your ass cheeks mm-hmm. on my phone, but we'll talk about that later. And this is why I say that women aren't good people, man. Because why would she save that? Why would you save that? And why would you say that? This is what I really. You said why would she? Yeah. You can't be surprised that a woman saved that. No, this is what I want to do. No, because I want to appeal to. This is going to be a tangent, but it's going to make sense. Okay. I want to <laughs> appeal to the LGBTQ community. Oh, straight oh, women can. are not your allies. Mm, probably not. You're right. Because when you say stuff like this, when you say stuff like this, mm-hmm. right, you're trying to infer that this is some uh, some sort of homosexual do- homosexual liberal. activity, and that therefore is wrong and should be embarrassing because he's spreading his ass or whatever he's doing. I think it's just. I think. I, 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 mm. It's just just like I, I wouldn't, okay, just I wouldn't, like I wouldn't, just I like just like when Amber Rose did the oh you like your booty ass your booty uh booty finger tickle little blue boy what's the problem with that mm-hmm. king shaming yeah king shaming all that type of stuff but I think the inference behind that king shaming is because it's your butt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it's there's that air of um <laughs> this is gay so da 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 yeah. So I'm just like yo that's true you know this is always sexual? this always gets weaponized mm-hmm. when I I, I just notice. Nah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, when women get mad at you, they gonna try to yeah. They love to pull that whole you're, you're gay mm-hmm. stuff, and I'm like, let let don't do this. You know what I'm saying? Like just, ugh, it's nasty. Yeah, that yeah, no, is. But um, yeah, she was out there on tour fighting niggas with him. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting. And with the, the spread butt, she said she was on Facetime. So if you're on Facetime, oh, she screenshot. Yeah, how do you have video like you just screen recording the whole Facetime? That yeah. Too. You're doing was, something wait, you're not supposed to like, be doing. You know, spreading your butt cheeks on FaceTime. That's, that's it's a little crazy. crazy but that, she said they were about to hang up, and he just nuts. said, ah! <laughs> like the Randy Moss. <laughs> the Randy Moss. Oh, he just did the shit. <laughs> yeah, just spreading your butt cheeks on FaceTime. It's a little crazy, but, you know, butt like not, not going to king shame. Open his butt like a cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, nah, I mean... Him not taking care of this baby is a little weird, but you know, I mean, at, at that big age, when you're that when you're that grown and you have money, it's not like you have anything to worry about. I, it's at this point, it seems like you're just embarrassed that you're having a baby with a porn star, mm. but you knew she was a porn star. You were openly dating her, mm. so this shouldn't be an issue, especially when you were saying that the most you open. wanted to have the baby with her. So you know, it's kind of weird for him to switch it up. Something must have happened, but he hasn't really said anything that kind of. Negates what she was saying. He's just been laughing along with everything. So he's like, "Yeah, I spread my butt. So what? Yeah, I spread my yeah." yeah. I, when Zach Box said that he should play, they're gonna name a group and they're gonna create a group that's gonna be called uh, Super Spreader. Super Spreader. Kind of crazy. Hysterical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super but I just feel like laughed along with him. So it's like, but another person that's been enjoying this and loving this all day. Oh my god. DJ Academics, man. One he of my nemesis. Loving every single. Segment. It's like at this point, it's like, bro, like. He beating his ass, yeah, in like the the court of I won't say public opinion, but mm-hmm. I don't know what to call it. But he's he's kicking ass, yeah, yeah. He said, <laughs> "What's that tweet?" He said, "He said, yo, he said, yo, that's crazy, Gibbs. Your 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 child is in is it was in that train screaming for 
daddy help me. Yeah, yo, academics is. I was like, this motherfucker is. Yeah, when he get when he gets hot, <laughs> he might be a dweeb, but when he gets hot, he gets, niggas, niggas get hot, man. I, he can he can he'll he'll <laughs> he'll say some shit where I'm like, didn't he like pay ten thousand to choose like the the the, the, the baby name or some shit like that? Huh? I saw I something tripping? about that. But the wait, the daddy, academics paid the girl ten thousand to name. But Allegedly, no the way, daddy, bro. The daddy help tweet was <laughs> a- academics. Nah, Freddie Gibbs. She was pregnant with your child during that train. Your baby in her gut crying out, "Daddy, help! <laughs> Stop tweeting in academics and Benny the Butcher and save me, <laughs> Frederick. This is unforgivable." Yo, hey man, man. <laughs> and then academics tweeted. He said, "Embrace her. She's your Beyonce. A baby's involved." Is uh, a baby is involved? This is deeper than rap. You hiding a child, let alone a fetus. Come home, love that baby, respect that girl. Forget she's a porn star. Let her be your world. World. And then he added her. He put a picture of them kissing, and then he put a, put a picture of her sucking two dicks at the same time. Mm. Academics is wilding, bro. Mm. Mm. Very much so, <laughs> man. <laughs> but but when you put yourself in these situations, it's kind of like, what do you do? You can't be mad. The sad story of Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> Dog. Yeah, they said they said the allegedly like they paid ten G. He's gonna pay her ten get ten racks mm-hmm. to like nickname the baby or choose a name or something of that mm-hmm. nature. And if that happens, she might take it. And if she takes it and that Cause happens, because ten thousand is a whole lot more than academics is trying to pay right now, or uh, than Freddie is trying to pay right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you one thing. <laughs> We gotta. We're gonna have. If that happens, we're gonna have a real discussion about Frederick Gibbs. Mm-hmm. Like, and I know the music is the music, but at some point, it's like, bro, his character's got to be in question. I can't listen to this when I know you're out here. At, it's got to hit a point. getting your ass beat, being a deadbeat. Getting your getting your ass beat the and left and right. Getting your ass beat and spreading it. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> a <laughs> lot, man. It's a lot. That's his business. A lot, of a lot going on. But it's like, how can I? <laughs> It's hard. It's got to. It's not. It don't get hard at some point. You don't think to listen to that? Eh. No, you can separate that. It's so not. Like, when I know what he's you're not doing rap- anything illegal. You rapping about gangster shit, and you. Con- I've never seen you win a fight. How many fights has he been in? Two. Two. Ah, uh, he's been. Don't we know. Two? Yeah, two well, three, know. but both he got jumped. He got jumped in both. That doesn't count. Yeah, it shouldn't count. Yeah. He got jumped by Jim Jones and him, and then he got jumped by Benny the Butcher. He got, he got jumped by Jim Jones and him for no, no reason too. He was just walking and cross direction or cross paths. They called that nigga in like in a fucking in a know, fucking like, Chinese like, buffet. Yeah, in Miami, right? No, I think it was in New York. Oh, the New York one, yeah. No, but no, Jim Jones called him in Miami at like a pizza shop. So this is a third one then. Three times? Eh. Either way, he's getting jumped. He gets beat up a lot. He gets beat up a lot. Yeah. But <laughs> if it's if it's more than one person, uh, how many times are you getting jumped? That you need to get some niggas. None of us you? been jumped before. We ain't I'm claiming that we. Like that. You doing jump worthy shit? Yeah, that's the thing. Regular so niggas we, get jumped. We ain't claiming to be hood. Niggas. Or you not moving? You moving wrong? Because jumpings don't fall out the sky. <laughs> they don't. You did something to earn a jumping. Hmm. So, huh? Some people might just have some ill will against me. I didn't do nothing. Because wrong. you created that ill will. Nah, I'm not always. So if you get jumped without talking crazy, how often does that happen? I don't it's know. very rare. Versus how times it ha- versus and even if it does happen, more time it's it's like they had the wrong person type shit. <laughs> they wanted Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> they said they beat up Don Cheadle. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, was well, my fault. <laughs> Thought you was Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't looking for Anderson Pack and then landed on Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> they wanted Freddie Gibbs and they got him because yeah. he mm-hmm. did something. To earn this, yeah, he gets jumped a lot. So, either way, it's a point against you. Mm. It's a point against you because you're doing shit and you're not prepared. <laughs> which is like, I think preparedness is part of the gangster code. Prior preparation <laughs> prevents poor performance. Yeah, piss poor preparation promotes an ass whooping. <laughs> okay. Okay. And up which, with that. Yeah. up which he has two to three documented certified. Mm-hmm. Okay, and. You spread your butt cheeks <laughs> on FaceTime in the nude. It's just What's crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> it's just 
crazy. It's just a thing I know about you. Yeah, and I don't know that about a lot of rappers, <laughs> but it's a thing I know about you. I know you spread your ass. <laughs> Like open, like and like like the fucking spread eagle. You drop down and get your eagle asshole open on, <laughs> bro. Spread your ass cheek just so a woman can see it is <laughs> just so a woman she didn't can even ask for it. <laughs> just spreading it, just so a woman can unprovoked. Just do maintenance <laughs> like that. I I assume that's how he sounded. <laughs> you, like, he said, nah, you, <laughs> you like that? Is crazy. <laughs> you like that? That's how Freddie gives sound to me. <laughs> I know you like that ass open in <laughs> that in your face. <laughs> it's Freddie. I know you like that ass. <laughs> Something like that. That is so straight out of Gary, baby. <laughs> I think it's from Gary, Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Piece of butt. Okay. He be singing Pound Town word for word. <laughs> <laughs> My booty <laughs> old brown. <laughs> My booty old brown. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, at some point, it's like, bro. You can't, yeah. Okay. For rap, because rap, yeah, it's rap is one of those, it's a masculine thing. And when you keep like getting your ass beat, spreading your butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Now it's, but no, like, it's not even about getting your ass beat. It's, it's about that. It's like, but, yo, you're just not winning nowhere. But it's not, but, but it's nigga, but we're not trying to say it's like this hyper masculine thing where it's like unmasculine people can't exist in this space. Cause we got yeah. living in a world with a bunch of the most popular rappers aren't really that masculine. Drake. <laughs> Tyler the Creator for one. Even Kendrick is not like oh monster bravado type of dude. Like these are the top rappers. You know what I'm saying? But when you're just rapping and promoting this lifestyle that you are a a thug dude, and all I know about you is you get your ass beat, and when your ass is not getting beat, it's getting spread open on Facetime. I (laughs) help, help me, (laughs) help me out. (laughs) <laughs> At least bad. Freddie Gibbs I mean Rick Ross You know when he found out you were lying You know what he did Guess what I'm just gonna start rapping about being rich bitch Cause that's what I am <laughs> That is what he did I don't hear yeah, that I don't hear Why am I a corrections <laughs> officer He was like, oh yeah, I'm rich. I got like, money now. I'm rich. Huh? Like, I was I, lying, I but hear, now I'm rich off those lies. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't hear nary a cocaine bar. Let's go to Pushy T rapping about cocaine. But I don't. I don't know what is. I don't know that his assholes out there. Mm-hmm. Because he settled down. He got a wife, and you know if his ass is on Facetime, it's private. <laughs> it's private. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. His wife's not out here snitching on his ass. No, yeah. he's taking care of his kids. He's 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 dotting his T's and crossing his eyes, mm-hmm. dotting his eyes and crossing. His I thought that was intentional, yeah. but all right. You know, I mean, Freddie Gibbs is dotting his dotting his X's and crosses his W's. Somebody's <laughs> somebody's dotting his eyes. <laughs> somebody's his, his brown eye. <laughs> uh, so it's like, bro, well, I just. Yeah, shout. I don't want to shout anybody out. Nah, you don't have to shout anyone. I just want to sloppily move on to the next. So you could just get some more hate off. It's not hate. It's no, no, more hate. I mean, I know you don't like Chris Brown. Chris Chris Brown. That's where I was going. Oh Mm -hmm. well, he's an idiot. So they try to yeah. So Brady tried to say that he beat up Usher. I don't believe that. I genuinely don't. Could you put it past him if it did happen though? No. Would you be surprised? I wouldn't put it past him, but and I don't. That's the problem. But, his, but no, 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 no. That's but the it problem. Was, it was his birthday party, and Usher was help, like throwing the party for him. Yeah. So I don't think that happened. But there's no fact. Would you be surprised if that was the case? I wouldn't be surprised if they got in an argument. Would you be surprised if you were like, "Yo, yeah, he punched Usher in the face"? <laughs> uh, yes, I would be at his own birthday you, party. Yeah, I, I, I would be surprised at that his he own birthday you party. Be surprised at yes. that? Yeah, that, that he punched Usher. Yes. That's his man. Yes. Especially you beats be- women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you beat bitches up, your man is not. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? I mean, about? but but not a woman. But, but, but most what? niggas that beat bitches <laughs> are less likely to get in fights with men. Usher's not a woman. <laughs> exactly. That's Usher's what I'm saying. Usher's not his girlfriend. Come exactly. on. That's exactly. So from the throw my guy about. <laughs> Usher's not a defenseless woman. Yeah. He's throw a my, man. Throw my guy about. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't think. Hey, I don't think that happened. I just don't. Because and, and, and then Usher was on Instagram live. I mean, Instagram the next day, and they were trying to say, "Oh, he he broke bones in his face. He broke his nose. He looked just fine." No, I don't think he's breaking his he bones. I think I think they fought. I think he wanted. To I don't think so. put hands on him. I wouldn't be surprised at that at all. And they were trying to say it was over Tiana Taylor. No, this is the issue. 
Yeah. What I what I yeah. it was it was because they were it was started from a confrontation he was having with Tiana Taylor. Mm. Now apparently this is what I and my TikTok scoop knowledge has gathered from this. Mm. Cause I guess remember when uh, Chris Brown was supposed to do like this uh tribute to Michael Jackson? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, I do want to preface this by saying they haven't followed each other on Instagram for a while. Right. Because people try to put that in like, oh Tiana doesn't follow Chris Brown anymore. It's been that way. Yeah. So, so apparently Tiana Taylor's like one of the she like does a lot of the creative direction for like these performances and mm-hmm. like part of the planning uh brain trust that oh, organizes okay. these things. Mm-hmm. And I guess she he feel he probably felt like she had something to do with him not getting that mm-hmm. and not his fucking history of being a shitty person. Mm-hmm. But you know, self awareness is not there again. So he decides he sees him. She sees her at this party. Mm-hmm. His party, by the way. At his party. His birthday party. <laughs> at grown man sees a woman at his party goes, I don't want this woman here. You just going to bring me a birthday party to my so birthday gonna, party on So my he goes and causes a sting with her. That kind of escalates a little bit. And I guess that's when Usher intercedes and probably goes, what are you doing arguing with a woman at the party? Nigga, enjoy your party. You're arguing with women. This don't make sense. Why wouldn't it? Where's Ema? Huh? Where's Ema? With the kids, they're not a, they're not attached <laughs> at the hip, Keenan. But normally, like <laughs> you, you normally you when you see one, you see the see the other, especially in events no, like, like this. When you not, see one, celebrity, no, I think civilian. I think because uh, it was in Vegas and they had videos of. I saw other videos of Tiana. She wasn't with Iman, so I think she was out there by herself. Because mm. I saw she went to Usher's uh, uh, residency, and then another reason why this don't make sense if Chris Brown was. Had any kind of confrontations with Tiana Taylor, you would have heard something from Iman. Mm. Why? Possibly. Very true. What do you mean? Why? He's a vocal dude. He would have said a something. Very vocal. He would have went on Instagram and be like, "Yo, Chris Brown, you fuck my bitch." Uh, yeah, you definitely would have heard something from Iman. I believe that. I doubt it. You, nah, he's vocal, bro. First of all, I'm, he does podcasting. He he <laughs> going to say something. He hasn't had the opportunity to say anything. He said it on. It's Instagram. been a week. Yeah. I don't think he's the type of dude to just go on Instagram and say something. Yeah. Okay. And again, who gives a fuck? It's Iman. It's just another. I mean, that's, Iman, it's, it's a supporting that. factor. <laughs> that's why I, don't, I think this is a bunch of hoopla. I think I can see that when you deal with a bitch ass nigga like Chris Brown, <laughs> everything and everything, anything and everything is on the table. Mm. He's one of them niggas where, unfortunately, due to his credit, like whatever happens, you say about him, I, I have to believe it. He's one of them niggas like you have worked your way into guilty until proven innocent until instead mm-hmm. of innocent until proven guilty. Sorry. He's like a Just like Kanye West. Tory Lane. I hear some wild shit about him. Hey man, you probably did this shit because you're a nut now. Mm. I love you. I don't love Chris Brown like I love Kanye, but it's like, nigga, you a nut now. So you when you in nut ass nigga territory. You are now in yeah. whatever she said about you. You, you need probably, to prove yeah, that need... shit is wrong now. <laughs> nut ass nigga. Yeah. Can I get a nut, gilly? Nut ass nigga. When you when you in gilly territory, <laughs> everything you need to prove your innocence now. Every time. Sorry. And then where's the video? I agree. There had to be a video. Yeah, the fact that there's not a video is it, the fact that there's no video. It didn't happen. Oh, they getting it. Didn't, didn't happen. happen. <laughs> yeah. I again don't because. Confrontation between Chris Brown and Usher. Somebody's in music going to put their phone event. It's a private celebrity event. Where they probably yeah, don't but you've have seen other in. videos from people recording in, inside there. Somebody would have had to have their camera out. Mm. Mm. And, and not everybody in there is an A-list celebrity or a mm. big-name celebrity. Nah, There's no video. It didn't happen. I know somebody that was there. It didn't happen. So I just didn't get you. I didn't text him. I didn't want to do that. But <laughs> my boy was there. Yeah, no. Yeah, we can my boy, huh? What do you say? Do you, do you know if it happened? Or you ain't talked to him at all? No, I, I haven't hit him up about it yet, but I don't think it happened. You know, he wanted, I, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. I know he was in the building. Uh, yeah, I, I know he was there. I hey, saw Chris the Brown, video. Usher. The videos that were online of Chris Brown, Usher, and Bow Wow, and Mario, it was his I, It was his story. So, like, I know who was there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, I could ask him. Too late now. It ain't happening. It ain't. I'm going yeah. to wait it out. Like, yo, I'm going to hit him up in, like, a, in like a week. Like, hey, you remember exclusive. that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to be that person. So, yeah. yeah. Is is. Well, I have no problem saying it, thinking that nigga did it because yeah. that nigga's a whole ass nigga. <laughs> uh, he has been such for the past. How old am I? 30? So, what? 
Well, he did that shit when he was 17, and he's older than us. So what? <laughs> he's going on 15 years yep. now of being a hoe ass nigga. So he's been quiet for the past few years. He been minding his business, ain't ain't doing nothing. I mean, he, to to me, that sounds like you've been hiding your bitch ass nigga. In his or he's oh, just minding his God. business, <laughs> living his life. All right. Yeah. So. Doubt uh, it. So yeah, anyway, until you start arguing with bitches in public, well, bitches, women in public. There we go. Yeah. Bitches in public. Growth. Um. Yeah, I, I don't believe anything. I, I believe everything until I see otherwise. Yeah. CB ain't do that Anyway What are we talking about I don't know why You don't think he did it I don't, I don't, I don't. There's no video So what There's no video There's no video Pick something oh, Just pick something Wait who's Ebony Williams um, Good question Oh I'll take the helm here Ebony Williams Is a black woman A fucking fool A fucking coon um, Damn um, no, Damn So don't say <laughs> oh, I, oh, Michael! I do say <laughs> Ebony Williams, a black woman. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, Ebony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fair. Hey, I mean, and that's Ebony yeah. nine. I see, I've seen some white people with those. Some oh, yeah. anyway, go ahead. oh, I, okay. Yeah, is this with the bus driver thing? Yes. yes. Okay. So I guess she was having a little discussion. <laughs> I didn't even watch that video because. And wait, it, you think she a coon for that? No, no, no. She's a coon outside of that. Okay. She's a coon outside of that. Okay. Yeah. I just think she's. I, I don't know nothing about it besides yeah. that video. I, I know who she is now. This. What so did she, she say in the video? Sorry. So, <laughs> so she was talking. <laughs> so she was like on a little. She had like a little discussion with a Yama Van Zant, another moron. Huh? You think you, you think Yelani is a moron? I don't think she's. I think. I think she does her job really well. I don't think she does that very well at all. Why? She's, she's kind of like a. She's not a therapist. She's not a therapist, she's but she's just I, an old lady that makes women. I think she's, I think she's pretty realistic though. She tells people to get their head out of their asses, and I like that. I mean, anybody can do that though. Yeah, and that's what she does. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not <laughs> back to Ebony Wood. Anyway, please. I don't know she she puts on the air like she's a therapist. I don't want. I don't like. She's a TV therapist. Go ahead. She's a chick. Mm. So. She's having a discussion with Ebony Williams or whatever. Yeah. And I guess the discussion is somewhere along of like, um, black women. And men, like, the disconnect, and, you know, the, the same shit only we talk about. Yeah. Only black people talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's a reason for that. We'll get to that later. And I guess, you know, Ebony Williams is a somewhat successful woman. I think she was on, like, some type of reality TV. Uh, the Real Housewives and all that stuff. Oh. She's a real housewife, whatever. And she's been on like Fox News and different things at that. Oh, was it Love and Hip Hop? He, she's on one of those. No, it was it's Real Housewives. It wasn't Love and Hip Hop. I, I remember seeing that. Mm. And they basically asked her like, "Yo, would you like? You know how you know women settling for you know mm. successful black women are finding hard to find black men." And yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, Same shit, different yeah, yeah. yeah. Same shit. And so he basically asked her like, "Would you date a bus driver?" Mm. And she was like, "Her first one, well, if he owned the bus." And then Yana was like, no, that no, he's a bus driver and that's what he likes to do. Like, yeah. She's like, no, you know, da da da. And she gets into this whole diatribe of like how um why, you know, why do black women or women have to black women the only women that have seen that have to settle. Mm. Um, and that's how you feel about black women in this country when you see that when you say things like us are the say things like us only having Say saying things like us as black women are the only group that have to settle when looking for a partner. And that, that it shows how we're like discriminated against and blah blah blah. Mm. And then, you know, but he was like I was like, Well, I would, but like if he was a bus driver and that's what he loved to do and he was passionate, he was a good man, he respected me, he loved me, you know, all normal relationship things. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, nah, like that's just like that's the problems that we have. She was like, you know, black people, we have this problem where we have, um, what did she say? She said. Superiority it, complex? Uh, you putting well, people down. Like, was saying lowered, that. We have bad, expect, low expectations. Mm. So it's like our expectations are low. So it's like we always settle for less. Like as far as black people as a whole, and she's extended to that now. And then, so when I hear that, to me now, Let's 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 pull, peel back a second here, because mm. a lot of you guys don't know who this woman is, and I mm. don't really know who she is that much either. But 
I, me, in my curious mind, first thing I look up, who, who's your husband? Mm-hmm. She's not married. Okay. Who's your ex-husband? Would you want to guess who, who her ex-husband is? Who was it? Just guess. Like, just, what, what does he look like? I don't know why, but Blair Underwood was the first person I thought of. No. But I don't think it's that. <laughs> Shaq? No. Hmm. You're going in the wrong direction. You're going in the oh, wrong direction, I'm brother. No, nah, don't say it was a white person. You're lying. Who was it? Just a white, just a white dude. Just a, a white, white guy? Dude. Wow. So now, it's like, so now when I see that, I'm like, oh. You don't even date niggas. Got you. Because yeah. it's always them. Yeah. It's always the fucking bad perm looking white <laughs> woman dating nigga, niggas <laughs> that do this yeah. all the time. Because in their mind. Keenan, <laughs> please. Jesus Christ. She like Pam Oliver? <laughs> she looks like Oliver Pam. <laughs> nah, she's, she's an attractive black woman. Oliver Pam. Yeah. Oh, no. It's always dim. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that makes sense. Because in their mind, settling is like, like, or wanting better is just not, is wanting a white man or wanting not a black man. Mm-hmm. Because they don't understand. I, I don't think those people understand what's going on in this country or what has led to for, because they say things like, you know, black women have this success rate, da, 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 and black men have this type, like they don't achieve at the same rate or graduate the same way, which is very true and very factual. And mm-hmm. I love my black women for doing so and achieving, mm-hmm. but they're not understanding that there are systems in place that make this disparage, disparity happen. Mm. There is mass incarceration going on actively that affects the dudes way more. Mm. And then you have a school system where it's basically like a fucking school to prison pipeline that affects black young guys, black young men, way more disproportionately. You have things like fucking... Um, like uh, like uh, the government assistance programs that kind of ensure that single motherhood is kind of a thing that like that's prevalent. And it's like it's things in place that's like, yo, yes, it's just listen. If you're a black woman that's is that successful, mm-hmm. and you're gonna look for you want a successfully black, uh, equally successful or close to successful black man, you have to know that that's going to be harder. And it's not because of these myths that people have told you, like black men are looking for, they don't, they get successful and look for white women because that's unequivocally untrue. Mm. Because I think the statistics are like most black men, I don't, if you can look it up real quick, something like that, like most black women that wake up, black men that make over a certain threshold of money. How do I look for this? I don't know. Because I, 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 I hate like when I'm do, saying these things. You like things. to do that with, well, with Bill and Bill's podcast? Yeah, yeah. So, look it up. Make it yeah. damn. Yeah, look up, uh, look up uh, no, Cousin from Arkansas. It's a certain stat, like, you know, like, <laughs> I, I, I wish I could. Relationships based I on I pay scale? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. But black, it's like, I don't know. Black right? men over. Who black mean? men over a certain threshold, they marry black women more. But it's just lies that have been told to us as a people that make it harder for us to really want to just get together and make it seem like uh, the best thing to do is to look outside of yourself. Mm. And I think rhetoric like that is um, harmful. Um, it is harmful. Yeah. I was like, bro, like it is harmful. But when I saw that, honestly, after I saw she was married to a white dude, I saw like, okay, I'm good. I don't want to, I don't need to know any more about you. I know what type of train you're riding on, lady. Uh, I don't know. I see this fact check right here. This is from 2001. It says 83% of black men earning 100,000. 100, 2001? 100, uh, yeah, this is from 2001. Damn. I'm sorry, no, no, 2021. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah 2021. 83% of black men earning 100K annual income marry black women. Yeah. So eight three percent. That's high. That's, that's that's really high. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so that's, like, that's, but that's, but you yeah. always know you know that lie that's always so like once black men get money, yeah. they go get a white woman. Like no, yeah, I don't think like, that's very true. Stop lying. Stop feeding these lies. They are out there. Mm. The man you seek is out there. You need to look, or you not stop being annoying. 
<laughs> that's men and women. Like, don't don't use that. Oh, they're not out there to for excuse. If you want to go date a white person or whoever that's not black, that's your business. But don't lie and say I want to do this or I want to do that, and then, but they're not out here, so I want to do no. Just do what you do, but stand by. Don't make this cockamamie attitude about <laughs> go. <laughs> about the whole status of your people so you can justify you you know sucking some pink dick go do that if you want to do that bitch. keep us out of it though yeah so here's the thing right I don't have a problem with what she said I, I do I can see both sides mm. I don't I can see both sides where for her side where it's like for a woman of her status just I don't believe that she would probably be ever able to meet just from the crowd that she's around a bus driver. So like her meetings, a bus driver and like courting. All I'm that saying stuff. we're saying, but, but on, on the extent, I don't believe that she should be like, Oh, because he's a bus driver. Like if they were to meet because you're a bus driver, I'm not dating you. Well, yeah. that's what she said. Her, but that's essentially what she said. But when she I that. don't mind people who they're looking for somebody and they're that's not a yeah, problem. But I, I, but the the question was asked: <laughs> Would she, you date yeah, a bus driver? And she says, "I don't see a problem with that." No, she said. She, she said, said no. no. I don't see a problem with with so her saying that, that I won't date a bus you driver. You wouldn't date somebody because they are a bus driver. And, I, and that's like, the, that's Keenan the, doesn't see. A problem I don't with see that. a problem with that. That's a problem. Why? Why don't you see a problem with that? Would you date somebody who's a paper girl? Yeah, if I love them. If we had good connection, why? If if you meet somebody the first time, and you're like, "What do you do as a job?" Oh, I deliver papers on a bike. Okay. <laughs> you gonna look Michael, at a different? Stop can it. You, can you go look somebody crazy because they deliver papers on a bike? At our grown age of thirty, yes. <laughs> why? Wow, what? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you taking care of them? Did they ask you for money? Are you paying for the? Wait, 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 wait. We're about to turn this one of them podcasts today. <laughs> Wait, oh, <laughs> no, it was because at some point you would have to. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, yeah. What? Go ahead, Lamont. No, I was going to say at some point in your relationship, you would say you'd envision getting married to this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That means you're going to be doing a lot of the financial lifting. Sure. Now, like as Corey always says, I'm talking about a, just meeting somebody team meet. just on a yeah. date. Like you don't date nobody, and we don't know what career path. This okay, doing. she's talking about dating into going into a full relationship, marriage, husband, family. Mm-hmm. Okay, that picture. It's not just oh, we're meeting for coffee. But who said bus drivers don't make no money? That's that's where I'm not compared. Not in her tax. I don't think a bus driver is going to be in her I tax. I feel bracket. like as long as the person that she with is not asking you for money, mm-hmm. who cares? I get that. Yeah, I get that. But we have to be realistic. Exactly. What's realistic? What's not realistic about that? You normally people like to. No, no, no. Look, this, I, some, I, this is the, this is a person that's pretty much damn near married. It's, help me, I, I really want to know what what is. Because if if the money's so imbalanced that it's just like they can't really help you with anything of the lifestyle you're trying to achieve, mm-hmm. like it's not anywhere it's not near feasible. 50, fifty. It's like it's not feasible. ninety ten. Mm-hmm. It's just like uh if that's not what she's looking for, she's look maybe looking for a financial partner, a life partner, all that, all together. That's obviously not a bus driver. Mm. And that's why I'm like, in in a situation like that, I don't see a problem with it. Like, now, yeah. do I believe I, that she should just cut people off because they're bus drivers? No. I feel like she equated that though to somebody who doesn't work hard, somebody who's settling. That is a like I think that's how she equated it though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, he's a bus driver, he's not trying. That's all he wants to do is drive buses. He not he's not trying to do nothing better. Like I think that's what she saw that as. Probably. You know Probably. She sees that as somebody it was that's like, not trying to do anything. It's like, oh, you want to be a bus driver, but you like you don't see yourself. Mm-hmm. Well, she said she'll date him if he owns the bus. So but now now it's since what are you talking yeah, about? Exactly. Some, some that, people that's own buses. What, she, what bus? <laughs> some people own like charter buses. Yeah, like, like, tells me, like, like, I, yeah, I would date you if you had more money. Like, like if he had his own one dollar China. But <laughs> what's it? it did, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. I really don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. Especially somebody of her class. I don't see a problem. Mm-hmm. I guess. I don't see a problem with it. Eh, I think when you have an elitist attitude about it, I think it's nasty. Because I feel like 
I just feel like as long as a person is not like like can support themselves and they're but, not asking you for money, then date them. But then you guys get into a relationship where that's a later discussion to have. Yeah. What, what, that's, that's, the, that's what the whole conversation we're not was get, about We're not getting married tomorrow that's, that's what the whole conversation was about Michael Going like like we're not just staying at the beginning stages She's, like, she's 39 Exactly so she's it. like All right, The so conversation is thinking about marriage, family You're 39 but you still gotta work towards marriage You're not gonna get married in, in, eight, in 8 months Yeah so she's sure. saying If I go on a date with somebody And mm-hmm. during that date I find out that he's a bus driver There won't be a second one that's kind of that's, that's a little that's, shallow. That's the problem. It is. Kind of. I have like yeah. if, if it it's is. a good date and you actually like the person, let's see where it goes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. She she she's happened. putting the that sounds the like yeah, that's, what, that's what it means. Like th- th- to me, the problem is it, when you say that it sounds like the bus driver is the main thing. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when the whole date, you could have been having a great time. Da, 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 but ah, bus maybe driver, the greatest person of all time. Might mm-hmm. be the best man you ever met in your life. But bus driver, that's that's what you're gonna let hold you back. You don't see yourself doing more, so pff, you're you're content with just driving New Jersey transit buses. And what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with these it. people. People have to. I hate when people shit on that type of stuff too, because yo, your life can't function as a rich person without service workers. People. That's true. Then if that mm-hmm. if that what you, you you what put gas in your car. In, in New Jersey, for example, we want to fucking eat. You gonna eat? You gonna cook your own food all the time? Oh, you gotta go to a fucking grocery store, or you don't want to go to grocery? Oh, you want an Instacart? A service worker gotta bring that shit to you. Oops. You you want to yeah, eat some, fast food? Somebody gotta do it, man. Service worker. Somebody else is doing it, but not you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all these people with this attitude is like the world don't move without service workers. They're probably That's the most true. important people on this. They keep the shit moving. Yeah, trash men. They were essential workers. Plumbers, mm-hmm. sewage people, all that shit. All the people where you like, yeah, you got the bus drivers, cab drivers, yeah, train people. Constantly disrespected. All that. Always disrespected. Always. These are the people that make life work every day. Yeah. Imagine all the bus drivers say, "Fuck it." <laughs> A lot of people be asked out. A lot of people wouldn't be able to get to work. The yeah. city would implode. <laughs> Yeah, cities would implode. If all the bus drivers said "fuck it," all the bus <laughs> all of them, anybody that said, anybody that drives a bus just says "fuck any it." Any bus, I'm a bus driver. Bus, ill transit. They just said "fuck it." I don't want to. Eddie Williams have, was talking shit. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out of this. Didn't I'm they done. have like I'm a a, a bus driver strike in New York like a few years ago? Really? Didn't they? Actually, I think you're right. I think you're all right. Yeah. yeah. Like a few years ago, they were just like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> imagine, yeah, it's it's crazy. But like, so, imagine all yeah, nah, all McDonald's workers like, nah. It's always a bigger picture, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. Speaking of strikes, I don't know. If, I, I didn't write this down. But anybody know what's going on with that writer uh, strike? I don't know. I heard they're not getting paid enough. Is that what it is? They're not getting paid what they wanted. I can only imagine that's what it is. Uh, mm-hmm. I know it was something like this before. Really? Yeah, it happened back when uh what. Quantum of Solace, the James Bond movie, was coming out. Whenever that was, like fifteen years ago, almost. Yeah, it was a while ago. Mm. Yeah, two thousand seven. Strike. Mm. Mm. Hey, man. Oh, I know. Stranger Things filming halted because of the writer strikes. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Marvel, Marvel hit pause on Blade uh, because residuals of from streaming media. That's the issue. Ah, uh, they can't figure uh, that shit out. Uh, it makes sense though. That's hard to. That's hard to. I th- I feel like streaming kind of it helped, but it fucked up a lot of things because well, it dis- on on levels it on all up levels so many things yeah. really yeah but so I many mean, different things. How do you yeah like how do you pay people? They they have they can't even figure it out yet. Well, I mean, can't you like because the-, the money's. Money, I guess, off of right now because you want to get paid, they're using your writing material constantly. Because, because mm-hmm. I was about to say, well, just based off what the contract was for the show, but then, yeah. it, but it's, then it's like it's still making money, like it's not even, I feel like it's harder to see the money, like it's different than syndication, where you know, yeah. like this is guaranteed to be played yeah. on these channels at this time, right? It's like, I feel like it's harder, it might just fluctuate when it comes, yeah, when it comes to residuals, I think it's harder to see the money actually coming through because everybody pays for a streaming service and you pay a one time a month fee. 
So like it's not like if yeah, I go to keep increasing the goddamn thing every week. So, exactly. So but it's it, like you're making more money. Where's ours? Yeah. And like it's like so it, you know when movies were in the movie theater, everybody would go see the movie. You you know people are gonna keep seeing it. So you gotta pay for it every time you see it. If it's just on Netflix, you just then keep you, fucking watching it. Then you had the DVD you don't have to pay for sales. it every time you watch it. Like mm, yeah. So it's like I, I feel like they're struggling to find out how to pay people for this shit. And I feel like music is eventually gonna hit the same thing. You know so wild like how wild like. Entertainment, different how different entertainment is yeah. now from like fifteen years ago. Hey, remember I played the um that one TikTok before when uh, I think it was Matt, Matt Damon, Damon. Matt yeah. Damon talking about how you know shit is just different now because yeah. there's no like VHSs and and movie theaters played a big part in everything. It's no just DVDs. not the same. It's not the same. There's no DVD but anymore. I, I see. I see the transition from kind of what he was talking about to just like. The B, I guess you'd say B or C list movies are mm-hmm. now just like straight to streaming, like we said earlier. And nobody really watches. Like, no, I mean, and it's harder to find. Some people are, I mean, some, some people have to watch or they're Depends just wasting money yeah. left and right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy to think about. Mm-hmm. But it's also crazy, like, yo, know, all these movies, they get made still, though. Yeah, they still get made. They actors, all these movies actors get are still made. Getting paid. Yeah. Actors still get paid. So that makes the writers even angrier. But it's like, there's money to be made in this act. <laughs> so many movies get made a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's. I wonder how many if we get like, how many movies are made in a year? <laughs> what man? Did you, are you counting Tubi let's, or no? Let, let's count yeah. like streaming <laughs> service movies, not like streaming. There's, there's, there's hella streaming dog. services. I can't even imagine. There's like a new streaming service every year. There's a lot of yo. You know, fucking Fanduel has TV now. For what? Exactly. To do Wait, what? Wait, to talk about betting? FanDuel TV. I, I don't know. What could you... I, don't I can understand they have a channel. Yeah. Like, they have a you, like a channel. But a network? What? How many... You get all the... Stri- how many different betting games. things can you do? That's Maybe sad. they might just have all the sports games in just one package, so you just get sports. I guess. I'm not paying for them. I'm not sure not if, at all. if this stat's right. It said two, 2022, 449 movies released. Damn. That's a lot of movies. I feel like that's kind of low. 449 movies? What? That's a, that's more than a movie a day, Mike. <laughs> On streaming services? <laughs> no, just in general. <laughs> that's more than that's a movie a, lot a day. That's more than a movie a day. That's a lot of movies. I feel like that's just and movies take, alone. And that's, well, <laughs> well, I don't think that counts. <laughs> well, that... Oh, uh, uh, we're not counting like the hood movies on Tubi? This mo- well, this is... No, we're not counting. In the United States and Canada, so that's not counting like, you know... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Other countries. Triple okay, you was in Canada? Yeah. I, I know and fucking. Wow, that's interesting. I know in fucking India alone. Yeah, they dropping nine a day. They dropping nine a minute. Nine and they, them joints. And they really? eight hours a piece. Them Bollywood joints. Where are they getting these stats from? Hold on. That's a good question. I would like to know where. Because in 20, what is that, 2018, mm-hmm. it was 873. Doubled in. Then 2019, 792. And then obviously, COVID. Something happened. So, <laughs> so that, that could be why. So all the movies that were, were yeah. being made kind of can't got paused, so it cut that number in half. And then they're still working their way they're back, working their way back, back into a groove. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Because all the movies that would have came out were being filmed then. Yep. So, mm. all right. Yeah. But yeah, streaming services got the game. Personally, all my sports are not sports, but soccer itself completely like ruined. Like the two because of, of streaming. Yeah, like I had to watch games on Peacock or oh, yeah. Paramount Plus, which is ass. Ugh. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Absolute. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like Paramount. Garbage shit. <laughs> no, like it little, is. It's that bad. Garbage. Shit. It's oh, God. horrible. But, all right. So, what services do y'all have? I got them all. I got I'm pretty, through Damn different man, different people. I got different everything people, under the yeah. sun. Oh, really? Exactly. Got, oh, through different like, people. I got them all. I, got I only pay for Netflix. I'm Prime. a strong, independent woman, so I only pay for my own. <laughs> Oh wow! Wow, <laughs> good on you. Yeah. Good for you. I'm an independent woman, so I I have Netflix, Hulu, and you got Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah. You no got Disney Plus. No, no Disney Plus. No Disney Plus. No Paramount. No 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 Peacock. I don't have Peacock now. No. Your, your family doesn't have Xfinity. We have Xfinity. Then you get you, you should get it. You, you got it for free. Okay, I have Xfinity. Only on like the main box though. Yeah, Which that's what nice. it is. So I yeah, so I don't get I don't have my own Peacock account. So yeah. it's only on the main. You only account. get on the main box. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't have that. I don't have like free. I don't have none of that shit. I only have those three. Nah, you that's need, all you need. No, you don't watch anime. I mean, I have Plex, I but you got I a Crunchyroll. Is it Crunchyroll? I Crunchy have somebody free. else's Crunchyroll. Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, it's ants. 
And be acting funny when I ask for it. <laughs> well, hold on. Yeah. I, I, our man every, time I, every time I ask Ann for his crunchy roll, he, he thinks he's doing a rigmarole. <laughs> but the thing is, our man's got all the anime on his Plex server. That's it very is. true. I don't, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah I got to make that right. shit work. Uh, shout yeah. this. We got to shout him out by name. Ice, uh, yeah. Ice Cube. Because I'm not. Because he's cold, cold Kool-Aid. ice. Because he really be, Ice Cold Kool-Aid? He nah, be looking his, out. His shit ice really, Cold Kool-Aid. His shit really the business. Yeah. And he out for real. Yeah. Don't 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 Our be boy trying Kendrick, to look Ice Cool Kool Aid. Don't man. be trying to look for him. We we yeah yo chill. <laughs> nah, if you join Discord the, family, yeah, if you join the Discord, you would know. Discord he family. Posts, he posts everything that he does in the Discord. He gives updates too. Like yo, yeah, I, got I just got them new Mario. I got that new Heat. You know what I'm saying he got he got he got the Mario movie. I'm about to watch that. Yeah, shit. I do want to watch them. I heard that was good. I I heard it was okay. I heard, I heard, I heard, it, was, I heard it was okay. I heard I heard it was really? good. I heard the best thing about the movie was Bowser song Peaches. <laughs> what? I had Jack Black Peaches. Peaches, 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 Peaches. Peaches, Peaches. Yeah. Wait, Jack Black is in it? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Bowser. Jack he's Black Bowser. is Bowser. Oh, that's great. That's how you know Seth he's... Rogen is Donkey Kong. <laughs> um Chris they, Pratt is Mario. Chris Pratt. I'm fucking tired of Chris Pratt. What's the name is uh yeah. no not Chris is that Chris? Yeah, Pratt? no, that is yeah, Chris you're Pratt, right. right? You're right. Yeah. And what's the name is uh Louis? Chris Evans. No. No. That's what's the name is Luigi, my boy um from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Charlie Day. Charlie Day. Really? The other guy? He's Luigi. Perfect, perfect yeah. Luigi. That's funny. He has the anxiety. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the the, anxiety. the anxiety. right amount of anxiousness. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see that. The right amount it. of anxiety. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Not we'll tonight, see. but I got shit to do tomorrow. But maybe tomorrow. I'll I don't. Do tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see um, what I can do. You say streaming services ruin TV. Who knows what else it's, it's, it's pretty much Elon. about to call, cost the same as just yeah. having cable. You know what I'm saying? Between all the streaming services. Speaking of terrible TV. What? They, uh, this fucking uh, oh, seventh. Seven, seventh heaven. Oh my. Have God. you been watching that? I saw. Well, the TikTok, MJ the guy, the guy, what's his name? Uh, Heartthrob Rob. Or or is it Heart? Is it Heart Rob? Is that what yeah, it is? Heart Robert. Robert. Heart, Heart Robert. Robert. There we go. Nice. Heart Robert. That's clever. Heart Robert on TikTok. So, what the fuck is this? He was waiting to do this. No, that's nothing. <laughs> I thought that was MJ. No. I was like, Projecting what? Project- <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, we got the projected TikToks yeah, nah. up here for our own uh, for our own pleasure. Heart, yeah, Heart Throbert on TikTok. He uh he goes through and just uh, recaps like old shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. But recently he's been doing Seventh Heaven and going through like all the like, I mean all the he- episodes. That's how ridiculous. Are bad. It is. Yeah, it's just re- it was a really ridiculous show. It was like before. Did, it was it was very ghetto white television. Did you watch it while it was on? Hell no! Only, only you did episodes here and only, there. Only because the no. watched it. Wait, was that? No, wait, no. Am I thinking of the wrong My theme brother. song? Was that? I don't want to wait for it. No, that's that's, that's, that's Dawson's, Dawson's Creek. Creek. Dawson's Creek, Creek. right? Dawson's Creek. No, you so, watching Dawson's Creek at like five years old. Well, how old were you? Now nah, you bugged out, really? <laughs> <laughs> the theme song was fire, bro. I don't want to wait. He's plugged in off that theme song. <laughs> Man, banger! Yeah, you bro. Might have been like Seventh nine. Heavens was very simple. Seventh Heaven. Yeah, I remember. Him. Nah, I didn't watch Seventh Heaven as much. Like I watched Dawson Creek a little bit more. That's funny because like <laughs> when I watch these recaps, it was bad. It's bad. I mean, it's 90s TV, but it's like yeah, that show is way different than what I perceived it to be. I just thought, thought it was, was just. Else. I just thought it was your standard like. White bread family sitcom. No, it was ghetto. The mom and the mom, the dad was uh, a pastor. No, 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 that that was a very Christian show. It's not a it's sitcom. Not a sitcom. I, I not thought a sitcom. it was. I thought it was like a, like not one even sitcom, like a lighthearted, like a. Oh, I'm just letting you know sitcom what sitcom means. Yeah, <laughs> it is not a, a sit <laughs> I, I or a com. Not that. <laughs> sitcom. It ain't comic. sit nor com. That just tells you how much I really didn't know about the show. Yeah. So I thought it was just like some lighthearted, like Cosby type shit. Mm. Nope. But this is like some hyper Christian yeah. right wing propaganda damn near. <laughs> <Say melodramatic. laughs> right it's crazy. Like <laughs> Yeah, like like the one episode he was talking about how like um the son was going to prom but he didn't have a date. And then for whatever yeah. whatever reason the uh the sister's like, Oh, I hope he takes me and he was like, What the fuck? Both sisters, sisters. Both sisters, both sisters. Both was arguing with each other like I hope he wanted, takes me. Wanted like, him to not get a date so they yeah. could take them. <laughs> Fucking weird. Not weird. So then a guy comes up to the dad who somehow knew that the son didn't have a date. He was like, Yo, by the way, prom was the day. That yeah, day. it was that same day. He was like, "Yo, your your son should take my daughter." So the dad tells oh, this the whole son, episode takes place that day. One day, 
So the dad is That's like, crazy. the dad is like, yo, you should ask uh, such and such. And the son was like, huh, she's a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to ask her anyway. So he asked the daughter. And he, I, mean, I what forget a, it. He which asked is the, daughter, the Christian thing to do. Yeah, it's the Christian thing to do. So he asked the daughter. <laughs> and she's Jesus like, but I don't have a prom dress. I'm poor. He's like, well, my mom can make you a dress. So they go home. In a day. <laughs> this all happened. In the same day. day. So they go, they go home. The mom rips the fucking sheets, uh, the, the no, curtain off. The curtain off. <laughs> It and it makes a dress out of the curtain. And then the guy, the boy at prom, he's like, yo, why are you letting everybody fuck you? And she's like, well, trauma. My mom died and yeah, yeah. My I'm mom died. Now. My dad drinks. I'm in therapy. So I get cool. fucked. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much what seven. And goes, was like. <laughs> was like, the moral of the story is, you never know why somebody could be a whore. They just might be poor. <laughs> I'm like, really? That's, 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 they just might be poor. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, every episode was Yo, like a- They had an episode right where they fucking, they fucking, the the old, the second oldest shit kid is like a girl. Yeah, she gets. I guess she's like on a basketball team. So the <laughs> bitch gets hooked on fucking natural energy pills. <laughs> She gets hooked on motherfucking she gets addicted on bee pollen to- pills, bitch. <laughs> like B12 and yeah, caffeine. Yeah. addicted to placebos. <laughs> she got addicted to Red Bull. She got addicted mm. to veteran, nigga. <laughs> and I guess she was like, yeah, you know, it's like a it's like a burst of energy. Duh, 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 duh. And then um <laughs> and then like the girl, like she's friends with a you know how they're always friends with somebody yeah. who really takes it too far. <laughs> she's like down in like 19 fucking. <laughs> B12 pills with, with Fruitopia. It's like, yeah, we can do anything. And I'll be up for Fruit- once. Fruitopia. You know, free birds playing in the bathroom, background. Reaver. <laughs> I, can, I can smell the future. <laughs> and inevitably, when, when, she fucking, when she fucking goes into toxic shock and she has to go get her stomach pumped. What? All, it's just them. <laughs> The parents just hugging the daughter, just like, see, this could have been you. And that's <laughs> that's the episode. That's it. Oh my God. That's it. Nothing's resolved. <sighs> Nothing's resolved. It's just like, oh my God. The bad thing <laughs> happened to the sinners. Yeah. But we we We're we're covered by the grace of God. We're covered yeah. by mm-hmm. the blood of Jesus. Yeah. That could have been you, but it wasn't. It could have been you, but oh, so man. that reminded me. Somebody offered me straight up. Somebody offered me Coke this weekend. I forgot. Still not going to the best episodes. Which one? The gang member. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit, bro. Yeah, yo, <laughs> bro. <laughs> was he? Was it like the the second son was like messing mm. with a chick, and like she was in a a leg, she had like a she had a belt buckle <laughs> that had a B on it. And apparently that's gang paraphernalia. Big B's. That's how you mm-hmm. tell somebody's in a game by their butt. Who the fuck is in the writing room? <laughs> Big B's these, like a Breitling. A like, white person. Even even if it's a white person, like, these are a special type of white And baggy people. pants. Jersey. Baggy these pants. Are, yeah. I mean. these are, there is a white girl dressed like a fucking cholo. <laughs> Chola. Chola, sorry. <laughs> Chola. Where, Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, yeah. So, every single day Mayo. Um, fucking, uh, <laughs> like... They don't even go for like the simple red bandana, blue bandana. Yeah, no. No, she's a fucking they just like M&M plaid stands. shirt, open shirt. She looks like a regular white girl, but the only different thing about her is she has a belt she's buckle a with a B on it. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like a typical skater white, a skater chick. Yep. SK Ader chick. <laughs> SK Ader chick. <laughs> And she has the blue bubble. And they're like, I think she might be in a gang, guys. Mm-hmm. And then I guess he goes to like the, the dad. It's like, I think your daughter's in a gang. And he goes, Not my daughter can't be. <laughs> Not my white daughter. <laughs> she can't be in a gang. She might have gang stuff. And they go, I'll show you right now. I guess he goes to like her room, mm-hmm. looks under, let's, and I guess they're looking for gang stuff. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck gang stuff happens to be. <laughs> Looking for it, they find no gang stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess she smartly hid it in her brother or her sibling's room. Mm-hmm. Do you know what the gang stuff is? What? The gang stuff. <laughs> the gang stuff is fucking uh, like brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> What's she, a twisted metal character? What the fuck? Brass knuckles. She's a fucking juggalo. <laughs> Brass knuckles, Ed Hardy like belt. Of Egypt? What's going on? Bro, She's a juggalo. 
fucking nunchuck. It's nunchuck. It was nunchuck. It She's was in the nunchucks insane clown in posse. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it was nunchucks in there. She's just a Jeff Hardy fan. She's a fucking <laughs> mutant, teenage mutant ninja turtle. She banged motherfucking the shredder set, nigga. <laughs> she had nunchucks in that she, mother. I swear to God, I, nunchucks and some I side. I want to give me. I want to see all the shit she had in there. In a chain. The gang one I was talking about. Is another game? Nah, nah, no, no, he's talking yeah. about the the, the one where the gang, son, yeah, where the the son, son was in the gang. The son almost got in a gang, and then the uh, the mom com- uh, confronts the main gang member, and she's like, "You don't, you don't know what I've been through." Oh, I'm <laughs> looking at this kid. Yeah. This kid looks like fucking Nick Carter. <laughs> Bro, they they they, <laughs> they, they oh, look I mean, like what is an NSYNC music yeah. video. It's like oh they're God. allergic to having niggas on the show. <laughs> like you won't even. Well, you know what? I almost well. applaud it. I applaud it. They're so racist. They didn't even want to put They don't have black people in the racist roles. <laughs> They're like, no, we'll get a cracker to do it. We just get, just give them some spike spiky frog. I mean, I guess it's not racist if they're not even racist. Nah, it was definitely racist. <laughs> she was like, you don't you don't know what I've been through. I, I've, I've I've my parents I've, got divorced. Yeah, I've gave I've given birth to kids. I'll take I'll get I bring kids into this earth and I'll take you out. Like she was like with her hand, you know and I'm how, not just doing that just because she's doing that. In you know a like how they like do this. that dumb shit where it's like, <laughs> oh, you guys are hardened gangsters, but I'm a mom. <laughs> like, bitch, if you guys don't get your acts together, <laughs> and they go, oh shit, man, not my mama. Nothing she reminds me than... of my mama. <laughs> Any no real thug niggas would probably just shoot that bitch. <laughs> I, don't think I always, I always hate that shit in comedies where they be like, it's like the mom come, the mom character yes, comes yes, in ma'am. with yes, all ma'am. the thugs, and he goes, she goes. She puts like her mom voice on. Mm. That's it. I've had enough. <laughs> now I'm going to count from the count of five. And when I count to five, you're all going to put your cocaine and your drugs away. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And they all go, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, nigga, if we was in fucking the wire right now, that bitch would be in a vacant lot. And they, mommy be dead. <laughs> they mm-hmm. fucking shot her fucking ass. She said, Different you, show. you want a piece of this? <laughs> and he walks away more. like, oh, the mm-hmm. weed one, the weed episode. Mm hmm. Oh, that one. <laughs> when the mom, I never the watched joint. that, but I always see that clip where the mom's like, I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> I used to do marijuana. <gasps> Gasping <gasps> Caucasian. <laughs> Gasping Caucasian. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the WB. <laughs> it was on WB. Yeah, it was. Oh, it also, we know his stance on Colin Kaepernick. Who the oh, he's one of them too. Well, I mean, it does not. Well, the dad. Kaepernick. There's an episode. Wait, what? There was no moral compass in our country because the people didn't at the game didn't know the Star Spangled Banner. Oh yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> he was he was very upset about that. So he's adamant about that. He feels about Kaepernick. No mm. brother. Mm. You talking about the dad, right? Yeah. You know he feels about kids too. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Was that in the show? No. That no, was, that's real that was life. Real life? That was that's real, real life. facts. Oh yeah. He had yeah, a, a kid tickler. Yeah. Yo, look at the gang. So this is the gang stuff. <laughs> she got two shanks in there, an envelope full of money, mm. a bandana, mm. two pairs of nunchucks, two, a surge protector. Two pair of nunchucks is illegal. A surge protector for some reason. <laughs> she got to plug in some outlet. A chain. A I'm gonna charge everybody's phone in this bitch. A chain link chain. I knew there was a chain in there. So you just gotta swing a chain around. Random sometimes. bags of weed Ooh. and pills. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now and like two more, games. two more shanks, mm. like two shanks, and then two not pocket knives, and then a black bandana. Mm. Like that scream stuck gang stuff. She's Latin King. She's a fucking. Also, in the gang, you don't, you know, you're subjected to being raped and <laughs> called to. Have sex with all types of people. Drink. That's what the mom said. According to the mom. That's what the mom said. <laughs> I didn't you know. Like, that, I, I didn't realize this show was on for so long. Oh uh, yeah. When how the long mom was, was it on? Yeah. How many seasons was it? I think it said eleven. It was. Oh my god. What did it do? Ninety to two thousand one or something? Shit. Un momento. I'd imagine something like that. 11 seasons from 96 to 2007. Damn. God damn. 2007? 2007. What the fuck? Also, there was another episode. Kind of nothing Christian. 
So I guess the brother grows to be like a what's the doctor that delivers babies? Uh not, not OB I think not, it's yeah, OBGYN, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. The one sister's pregnant. No, that's what Dr. Oxwell is, right? Yeah, the one sister's sister's yeah. pregnant. Ooh, that's kinda weird. The husband <laughs> Awkward. gets yeah. mad because the brother is trying to deliver the baby. His sister's baby. Yes. What could he be mad about? I don't know. He's, he thinks he's, he's doing look, something look at my, sexual. Uh, my baby's coochie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obstetrician. That's correct. Yeah, that's what the OB stands yeah, for. OB stands. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Um, that's Continue. You. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. yeah, that's the that's the. Thank you, Michael. Thank but you, yeah, Sir Michael. Like, like, so you'd rather have I someone? Was, I was just about to ask the GY in for, but it's gone to college. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> My God. I'm happy you broke it down yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we got there. So he'd rather have some guy that's not related to her that could possibly be actually attracted to her. Look at okay, yes. okay. That's weird. Why are you sexualizing Why are you your daughter? Looking at yourself? Yeah, sexualizing well, your daughter I, during I, birth is no. I mean, I, no. It's what? what? It was the the the. I guess the husband or whatever. Yeah, the husband sexualizing the relationship between the brother and sister. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But his that was his daughter, right? It's not the no, Brady that's his no. sister. That's his sister. sister. Oh, or his uh, wife, or either either way. Okay, okay, okay. See, so see, it's see. Like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's still weird. I'm trying to deliver the baby. I'm trying. Yeah, to I'm trying to work, help, nigga. I'm trying to work. I'd yeah. Actually, I'd rather be home right I'm now. I'm trying to help out my nephew. I'm trying to like my, my niece. I'd rather be anywhere than rich deep in my sister's pussy right now. I, <laughs> I promise you, I can buddy. Tell you that, but I'm the best one for the job. But I, nigga, I, I swore no. Speaking of, uh, and that. I was assigned to this this day. I tried to switch. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how many times I tried to switch. <laughs> Try to get my. But sister. it just it just shows you how. Weird. Uh, well, I wouldn't say all white people, but I don't. I guess the demographic. They most, were for, most, like no. MJ, were to, it's what, most. What, what were you gonna say, MJ? <laughs> no, like they like it's just pussy shit. Yeah, uh, like the whole show. Is, uh, no, like there was an episode where <laughs> a kid stole a glass from a diner. Yo, and the dude was gonna <laughs> press charges. Gonna press charges. Like a, just a cup. A glass, just like a, a glass, glass that wow. they can throw out. They you can, would. You could they take probably would. They probably break more of those on drop more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And and the dad snitched. What the fuck? Little bitch, because he's a bad oh, pastor. Man, and no. man I don't want. I don't want to raise. I don't want to raise a thief. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the son. It or wasn't his own. I son. think it was. Or was like the son's friend or something like that. Oh, it was the son. And the dad. And the dad was like, the dad was like, oh, you're gonna go back and tell them you stole this glass because. Because that's what Jesus wants. I'm sorry, I lied to you, man. Like everybody, it's something that everybody did, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I lied yeah. And then he went there, and went he, to and the court, and then like everybody from the school court, was like, "Yeah, are you me. gonna arrest all of us?" <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Wait, he was at court for a glass. They were. Bro, they, what are they doing? The, 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 the dude was like, "I'm pressing charges." Show. That's what I'm saying. The pressing show. charges. I'm pressing charges. Insane. On your little that glass is worth one dollar. On your I little God, white let, ass. Let me be the cop that they call in on the stealing glass charge press. I'm gonna slap the shit. I will throw I, that glass so far into the air. <laughs> I'm like, how much that cost? Get out of my face. And I would have threw the money at him. I'd have threw it at his. I would have slapped him with a, the 20 bit. <laughs> <laughs> this little puss. Go buy some 20, damn glasses. 21. Yeah, don't ever call the police again on some yeah. dumb shit like that. It just show you how crazy. Unless you at gunpoint, nigga, don't call don't us. You shit. ever. I didn't, I didn't know. Like, I didn't watch the show either. Like, I yeah. wasn't watching that show. No. Yeah. But, I just thought it was just some, you know. Do you think I honestly thought it might have been like on, on a, some Touch by an Angel type? Yeah, that's. Thing, but it wasn't, I mm-hmm. guess. I'm trying to think of what type of. Do you think there's I a show like God. that now? Like, is there a no, show? It, no. Uh, nah. There's those. They do have Christian. What on Freeform shows? But like, <laughs> Freeform shows. Who's on. watching those other yeah. than the hold on, psycho hold on, right shows on Christians? Yeah, no, I'm saying like. But that's the, everything. Like the dude, like it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, and it's also ridiculous to know that the dad. In real life, is a pedophile. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, wild stuff. Yes, yeah. It's no coincidence. No, like because like no more. Right, think about the the cast. Like mm. he was a pedophile while he was on the show. Ooh, yes. but, like the cast is like yes. it's Jessica Biel, um, young Jessica um, Biel, the one dude. So you say he had a lot. <laughs> yes. God, Jesus. That's not. That's hey, not. it's not even funny. I mean, that's a, but that's the, the one. Truth. But the one dude, like whatever, he was in that. I remember he was in Sorority Boys. I don't know. I watched a lot that. of hot kids on that show. <laughs> But like, how do you, how hot do they, young ass. I want to know how they feel about we the show now. Like, 
there, it's a job to them. A yeah. lot of prospects. It's a job, but like, what is? How do you feel? Like, yo, this show is fucking stupid. Like, it was. Yeah. They don't care, bro. As long but it was as the, they it was, it was, yeah, it was, no, no, it was the nineties though. Yeah. So, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, it, it was, was a ni- yeah, it was the nineties. So like, I was like, yo, this shit was so fucking dumb. Yeah, looking no, back, we didn't think about it then, but like now, they definitely was like reading the script. They was like, this shit is fucking dumb. But then they looked to the other side. They saw their check. Was like, this this check is smart. Dumb, dumb. That's that's how a lot of nineties shit was. It was just like corny. It's the the money's not that like yeah the money's probably not crazy with, for with, seventh head. for the time no, no, no. With t- no with tiktok and shit uh like shit would come up everybody's having a podcast uh all the old shows like mm. ned classified and even stevens and all that mm-hmm. oh they're uh, making podcasts yeah even josh stevens, peck hot one oh, the, the, even stevens one they talk about how like yeah everybody thinks because you're an actor you're getting paid all this money like those mm. people, they're not getting paid that much money. Yeah. Mm. Like, they're not, so they, they're getting paid and living a little bit, but yeah. it's still yeah, it nah. ain't crazy. Nah, man, the 90s, was, it was just corny like that. Like, that's that's the same time when fucking Dare commercials were on, even, coming on TV and some shit. Of the, I mean, when you think about it, <laughs> Family Matters was kind of corny. Yeah, corny yeah. as hell. Yeah, because the main character was a fucking cornball. Yeah. But that's why I never understood how good people really liked that show. That show was very whack. Was any, any show that and did the slow zoom in when something honestly, bad TikTok happened. TikTok is resurging all these shows. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, that shit, is, that yeah. shit was because a very I didn't realize how, how far that show went to, like, to the point where it was like, I guess Urkel finally got where and like... Mm-hmm. He finally got where. Like, there was like a whole... Oh, the, the <laughs> Urkel's cousin from Detroit... That I episode, that. yeah, where he was like a gangster and shit mm-hmm. like that. Like I yeah. don't remember any of that because when that. you have when you have one when your show is literally based off one character mm. and all the other characters mean nothing. Nah, they all mad stuff. Ooh, them characters their don't value, mean nothing. Their value, I didn't value, give a fuck. The I'll tell you right now, a, they, I ain't give a fuck about Eddie. Deleted the daughter out the damn show. Yeah, yeah. That straight, was a, it, it straight deleted a person. Their values just not even there anymore. Just, every season went on. It was just they replaced Urkel, her. Urkel, 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 Urkel. Yeah. It was. It was. Like, it so, was to the point I didn't know Orlando Brown was in the, on that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. Uh, which one called his friend? And watch this shit. You should have. It, it was a great show. No, so we're not going to compare. Cha- they cyclop- changed channels. Somebody who has weird encyclopedic knowledge of that show, which is you. It was. A, and you are only was, seven other people have that. Same no, a knowledge. lot of people have. It that was a great was, show. No, it was not a great. It was a great show. It was great good, a when very, it was on TGI. No, it was a great show. Good. ABC to TGI, All right. But yeah. they changed networks. Yeah. That's, I didn't know they changed because it used to be TGIF. You used to have Full House, uh, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Family mm. Matters. Like all those shows came um, step by step. Like all those came on TGIF. But uh, we was we remember we were having this conversation a few months ago. Like just how many sitcoms, Black were, sitcoms. were being made. Yeah. So I will say Family Matters is. At least it's gonna be good because it stayed on for so long. It doesn't hold up though. because it was. It, it just it's hard to stay on. It doesn't. It hold doesn't up. hold up. And honestly, you know what holds up? Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince yes. holds up. Yeah. Easily. And Martin. Martin really. It holds I'm up. I'm not putting that in the category. The same category. Yeah. Why not? Because it's not for family. Because yeah. No. Freshman's more family oriented, and so is family. I just, matters. I just say sitcom. It is what it is. No, show. I'm talking about in the category of what they like are. family show. Yeah, because yeah. like I said, TGIF was like the family mm-hmm. preteen teenager shows, mm-hmm. right? But like, yeah, Fresh Prince that holds up. All the mother family show. Yo, what, what, what? Black family shows hey, from the '90s really sister, hold up, sister? like. Smart guy, sister, sister might be the only one realistic. Sister, you know. sister, smart guy. Sister, sister was hitting his miss for me, but I, I see, smart guy is very, very underrated. It holds up. Does Moesha hold up? It does. Yes. Oh, as yes. even as bad as bad as a character as she was, yes, it holds up. Does it really? Yes, yes. yes. it does. Yeah. It's just she was the dad was bad too. The dad was. They were all bad. Yeah, he was a shithead. A little fucking doo doo head. I used to hate Ma, yeah, Moesha holds up. Moesha holds up. What about does the park? The Parkers too. That's like early two thousand. Yeah, that's, that's not even a sitcom. That's buffoonery. Um. <laughs> stop it. What are they doing stop on that it. show? Coonery. <laughs> stop it. No. Coonery no. and no. stop buffoonery. What they do on that show, Mike? It was. A Hi. Bit. It was a little bit. Of it's <laughs> literally just. It's literally just thirty minutes Mr. of Omobie. Monique's worst stand up. <laughs> Yo, I hate how MJ began Mike started up like Shaq and Chuck. Yeah, what, right. what do you say now, Chuck? <laughs> what about the big old woman saying big old woman saying Antonio? It's that 
it's that bad 2000s woman comedy. Hey. And then he whipped his dick out, and that's all I said. And I said, that's it? <laughs> I said I'm a big black one. You gonna need you gonna need a lot we, more supply than me. Will, we, I know that's right. Not, yeah. We will not slander the Parkers. The Parkers was a great TV show. Yo, at that time. great. Yo, yes, that it you was used? a great TV show at that time. Great kidding? Yes, great. I, at that time, yes, it was great. Everybody great. in here was everybody in here was watching the Parkers when that shit came on. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, no. At that time, yes, you were. I don't know. Yes, about you great. were, Michael. No, why why yes, you were. Why does my seven year old opinion matter? <laughs> I'm seven years old. <laughs> because at that time, it Thank was you. a great show. Seven. You were a seven-year-old. I'm still actively pissing it's and still, on myself. It's still funny <laughs> now. It's, it's still funny I'm still now. peeing the bed. <sighs> Did you not watch Thank it when, when they brought all the black TV shows to Netflix? I didn't watch the Parkers. You I should watched have. Girlfriends because you should have. Girlfriends was good. So was the Parkers. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it okay. was. And then even if I say good, the word great is for now. I think you need to I, look at again, the words. I'm you just great around I said for everything. For that time. Look, yes, it was a great show for that time. the same man who loves Marlon. Yeah, you know what? Marlon's a good that, show. Marlon's you know, a good no, show. No, it's I'm not. It is. Keenan, it is. what is above great? What is above great? Because the Fresh Prince is great. No, that's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. That's, 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 when, when you think of black sitcoms, that's you got, old time. that's, you got the Cosby's. Okay, that was a great, going. excellent right. show. Not, I'm not arguing with you. Got you, Fresh Prince, you got Fresh Prince. You got Fresh Prince. You got Martin. Uh huh. Then everything else. Yeah. The, so I, so I, the park is falling I, under I those. Was put living single in that tier. It might be just under that tier. Just under. it can be great. It can be great. No, it's, the, I guess you li- said living, excellent. I'm is saying the ultimate. It's a cost. living single could be great. Yeah, living single is definitely great. That's great. That's what I'm like, like putting like for those times. Yes, those so were you're J- telling me. J- Jamie Foxx show. Hold on, Jamie Foxx. Hold on, excellent, great. excellent. Jamie Foxx is not excellent. That's not. Excellent. It's great. I love that show. Maybe it, 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 okay. it's only. It's so also me, prayers to me, Jamie Foxx. To me, show yeah, for real. No, for real. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Prayers to Jamie Foxx. Jamie, Jamie Foxx. I like how they. I like I how they. I like it's, it's not in our business, but it's. Yeah, I like. Scary. I I like how. Yeah, it's scary. I like how they're treating the situation though. It's with the within the family. You know, yeah, it's, it's usually, not about business. Usually, but, shit like this isn't supposed to be anybody else's business. Yes, so I respect. But, but all of that. we can't lose Jamie Foxx. Like I was, no, saying, I was saying, like shows that if commonly feature one character, <laughs> and it's really the, it's like the one character show. Mm-hmm. Is it can never be excellent. To but me. the Parkers wasn't a one character show. That's he's talking about Jamie Foxx. Well, Let's Jamie Foxx. Jamie, Fox. Jamie Foxx wasn't a one character show. The the yeah. supporting ca- bro, the supporting the cast supporting was amazing. The supporting cast amazing. Bro, Braxton, the the banter between him and Braxton. Braxton, Braxton was, was carrying some episodes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jamie. No, no, <laughs> Braxton, Braxton do that. They they literally did it back and forth to each other. Bro, remember when? Remember when the epi- oh my favorite <laughs> when episode. they had the Michael so Jackson on? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. You talking about the no. running around the desk? Not this Nigga, thing, yes. Damn it. When he went to traffic court. That's Mark Cooper. That's traffic- one time. One of the tra- oh, He's talking about a different God. episode. He's talking about a different episode. Now I'm talking about the one, not traffic court. When they went, he had to take the class, defensive driving classes. That was with Mark yes. Cooper. Yeah, bro, comedy, bro. Yeah, that's Mark Cooper. Like he's not a, a cat. But even so, Mark Curry. Well, he. I'm sorry. I always call him Mark Cooper because of the show. But even so, no, the supporting cat, bro. It was good, bro. That showed me his aunt, his aunt, uncle. That showed me hilarious. Foxy, him, fine as hell. Fancy. Who, <laughs> fancy, I'm sorry. Who was just a piece of ass of the show. She was okay. Okay. His uncle. His uncle. His uncle was okay. The cheap archetype. And they always had celebrities on it. Like, damn near every episode. Damn near every episode. <laughs> <laughs> what was the... Remember Baby Hairs? <laughs> what was the name of that song? It was, what was it? Poppin'... No, Poppin' Poppin' Collins. Collins. Yeah, Poppin' Collins. Over there in front of the camera. And he's... <laughs> When he did the, fucking, the jacuzzi, <laughs> when he did the Pumping D'Angelo guys. video, yes, bro, Ooh. come on, bro, that was funny. Come that on, that was hilarious. Bro. There's a lot of ev- a- <laughs> there's a there's a lot of moments in that show, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's, it's great. excellent. It can't I'm, be it's excellent. It's great, 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 it's great. I can't put it on the same level as Jimmy Fox. Uh, I mean, as uh, you put it over Mr. Hightower or same level. Nah, Mr. Hightower. Uh, the Steve Harvey Steve show. Harvey show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I might. No, I don't. You I don't. Where, where you put Steve Harvey? Yeah. You so you put that. You put Steve, <laughs> Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Harvey. Steve Harvey. You put it above or good, under good. Jamie Foxx. Great, great. You said I'm oh, putting great. Yeah. You said it's good. That's, That's a good, good show. Yeah. Good. I don't know. So if it's great. Jamie's great. Steve Harvey I is good. Jamie's great to me. Jamie's good to me. That's great. To me, I like the I like I like the Steve Harvey show. I like it. That's what I said. It's good. It's good. Um, where'd you put the Wayne's Brothers? Top. Wings is great. That might be excellent. Top? No, no. It, 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 it's like it's second top. tier. That's excellent. Second tier. Wings Brothers. I'm, I'm that's going great. So, 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 so that's, that's, that's the A tier. That's A tier to me. Yeah. 
Yo, that's we excellent. We need to do. All right, what, that might be a Patreon where we do like the bracket that, real that, breakdown. That, yeah. No, you know how they on that, that, that S tier A. Yeah. yeah. That's S yeah, tier A to me, boy. Wayne's has got to be A tier. Mm-hmm. It's got to be A. It can't and it can't be lower to B. Mm-hmm. Cannot. And on my cannot. list, I, I, I have I have it at B. Two. I have it at B. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, you yeah. love Marlon. But you have. <laughs> Yo, I have this nigga, this He's inconsistent. Man. He's inconsistent. Bro. You, so you have that above, below the. That's purpose. like having Wizards Jordan yes. over Bulls Jordan. Yes. What the fuck is you doing? Yes. I I I have Wayne's brothers Why under do you the, like Parkers. the Parkers. So much. It was a good show. Yo, the show was funny. Too... The funny. The show was funny as the hell. Wayne's brothers funny, funny as hell. Yes. Funny Wayne's as brother, hell. Wayne's brothers was funny. You just don't like women comedians for one. You that show have a thing for Nikki Parker. Nikki Parker. I love girlfriends. She that show was not funny as hell. Yes. It was hell? funny as hell. Yes, it was funny as hell. Yes, yo. Yes, it was funny as hell. That show was one note. No, it wasn't. I'm a dog of me and damn, Kim is dumb. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go right. Kim is That's dumb. it. That's the show. <laughs> Get it on the nose. Kim is, Kim, is, Kim, is, Kim is dumb. They make music. Hey, Mr. Parker, he don't want your fat ass. That's that was it. it. That's, but he got that's him. That's five episodes. Five. <laughs> I mean, she got him. Cut in after she, she fucking him. hypnotized him and did everything horrible to him. She was a bad person. No, she, she was about to get married, and he realized, oh, damn, I can't live without her. No, the Stockholm Syndrome kicked in. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's all that was. Or his prospects dwindled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his roster right, fell ran, off. Veronica. This, Veronica this got bitch, married. Veronica, this yeah, evil she fat did. bitch ran, everywhere, <laughs> ran everyone away Whoa. from him and then got her evil own man. Evil bitch. Lord. Damn, Michael. You she, did. You just got to think she was Monique. evil. She Monique. ran all Monique, her... She, Monique was not a good person in that show. She bro. ran every... Chick that he ever close to had away from him, and now once he's high and dry with nothing, she wants to go find her own man and leave him with nothing. Bitch, you better be with me. You ran everybody else the fuck off. You better be sucking his dick. All right, Keenan, where does Bernie Mac slow down there? Excellent. Yes. The Bernie Mac show. Is, this As, actually, a, no, wait, no. You nah. know how we say A tier, God tier. That's that might be yes. <laughs> that might be yes. <laughs> God tier. My wife is that, 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 that. My wife that. and kids. My wife kids S. I was gonna. Do we have a lot I of say excellent. Excellent. But for me, I'm sorry. Excellent. For me, it's that's S-tier. A. Honestly, God tier is only. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a. A. No, 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 no. If I had to choose between Bernie Mac, all right, how about this? This is what we. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cause some friction. Fresh Prince. We gotta choose between Bernie Mac my and my and wife and kids. kids to be an S. The other one's gotta I go. Bernie Mac. I want my wife and kids. I want my wife and kids too. My wife and kids over Bernie Mac. Yes. 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 I love both of them, but I hated Vanessa. That's and I. You you didn't like Vanessa? I couldn't stand. She sucked. Yeah, she didn't. I feel like she added the balance she to was the show. Moesha. Oh God, this is a moody. Bitch. I can't do yeah. anything. <laughs> she, moody she, bitch. You so upset, bitch? Go back to Chicago, bitch. She did. That? No, but that she, bro, she, I, I, she hopped she on the bus did. and went back to but Chicago. I, that's that's I the point. Her, and I let but, her bitch mm, ass stay there. Too. She played her character though. That was the whole point because she was in that age where it's like I'm old. She's old enough to kind of start making decisions. Well, but Claire, she couldn't. Claire was funny. bad. Claire yes. was funnier. Claire was an idiot. But she made yeah, it. She, she was funny. Funnier. She was dumb. Yeah, she was fine. Vanessa was just a buzz killer. Like, oh, you coming here with your fucking face again? <laughs> it's, it's exactly. All scrunched. You up. and your teeth. Are we being, you, in a, you got a Picasso in your house now. You, you, you and your teeth. You living in a crack colors? house. You dumb bitch. Bro, Are you no, being colorist? My favorite. No, my favorite Bernie. No. Yeah, he is. <laughs> sure, yo, that's my right. favorite Bernie Mac episode. Not doing that. <laughs> Back when there was Black Claire. Yeah, right. Mike Black, didn't like the show. Yeah, he didn't like Black Claire. Light skin Claire came through. He was like, oh, that's the bitch from you guys. Sir, hold on. We're we're all gonna lie and say we 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 like the first Claire. She was she doing like two episodes. Two episodes. I wish I could remember what she her? looked like. She was she was on Nickelodeon. Yeah, she, yeah. She as did. soon as you see her, you will know exactly who it is. I'm sure I would. Yeah. Um, but no, yo, my favorite episode of Bernie Mac was when uh when uh everybody kept getting sick and they kept saying oh. who got it, and then baby girl uh, blew out the candles on the cake and it was like the cake got it. Man, that's my favorite. Episode. Damn, love that episode. America, America. <laughs> that used to be my routine every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Cause I will never forget, like that was such an important part of my life for a little bit. Mm. I would have guitar practice at the mall. What? <laughs> like you play guitar? Mm-hmm. Oh, you play bass? Okay. No, just no, just because I'm black. I played regular <laughs> white man's guitar. <laughs> guitar. You played acoustic. <laughs> I played acoustic. Oh God! College, you still, you still college, play guitar? College kid on campus. Why is this guitar. something I've never heard before? Yeah, I, you've never mentioned. I've, this. I've mentioned this before. You've no, never mentioned you it. Not. No way. I have definitely mentioned this. Before. Nah, nah. I would have. I have. If you said I played tuba, I, I remember you saying that. But guitar? <laughs> no, I do not. That's crazy. <laughs> so you attribute me to the two? <laughs> big niggas play tuba. There's <laughs> a lot of subliminal <laughs> fat jokes going around here. And we're, it's about to get to the point where we have to go to the other side of the room and score around. I think I've had one from you. You, I think today. 
I'm not sure if Grace week. had one yet and that one. It's getting to the point where we're going to have to start taking turns back there. I'm getting tired of it. This nigga said, oh, you definitely look like it's a tuba thing, shorty ass nigga. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Well, All right. I'll be thinking that ass. Thinking that ass. Thinking that ass. <laughs> It was a good movie. But, um, oh, yeah, good. like I took acoustic guitar lessons for like a, I want to say mm-hmm. no more than a year because okay. I, I didn't make it past my first recital. I played hot cross buns and then like because remember in the, remember in the Bronson Mall where there was like a guitar like yeah. a music shop. That's yeah. where I would have my lessons in the back. Wow. Yeah. So I have guitar lessons and then after that I would oh, go. Yeah. I used to go to the arcade over by where the elephant was with the little boy on top of it. There was an yeah. arcade over there. I used to play in there all the time. I would do that. I would have my lessons, mm. go down to the stairs and get a, a, a onions pretzel, mm. and then we'd go home in time to watch Bernie Mac, like nice. as a as a family. Wow, hmm. nice, little I, I, <laughs> nice Asian but, American family <laughs> with my Chinese dad. <laughs> we would watch Br- Br- Bernie Mac. As a okay. as Bernie Mackelson. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, Bernie all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right. I, I forced my. I fi- tired of these punk ass kids, son. <laughs> So, so <laughs> we gonna have a Patreon episode where we rank all the black sitcoms in the tier list. Yeah, we yes, there we go. Yes, Thank you. Completely Asian action. <laughs> we will not. Bernie Mackelson. We will not. Oh uh, well, brother. Big super time fun time. Hey, Lamar, you got some questions? I got some questions. These okay, are let's, from let's, our... let's do some questions. Nah, I'm get a word. No, I'm gonna do no, that. no, let's do I'm some questions. Every episode, every episode. In a racist Asian accent. So, thank Why? you guys. That was a podcast. You should see your yeah. boyfriend. And you should send the no, Michael. Please. Send, send the Michael uh, for the pics. No, 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 Michael. We're okay. Not do this. These are from our Go-Zira. exclusive Patreon members. Oh, my God. Uh, so, Paige, you remember, be on the lookout for that. I was talking about these questions. These are coming from them. So, yeah, if you uh, s- subscribe to the Patreon, you get your own little questions yeah. link. Yep. Yeah. Good for you. It's sent you to subscribe <laughs> to Patreon Fun Time. Three, five, and 15 dollar tiers. <laughs> 15 dollar tiers. I'm sorry. Well, our Mike don't Asian want us to succeed, ah, though. <laughs> Mike trying to get us canceled before we even on. Yeah, for the small price, for the small small price of thir- Mike three dollar. Who's that handy? That's Mike what does not care about our hard work and effort. <laughs> that little bit of handy. That shot got me right. <laughs> shot does not. The Red Bull got me feeling. Maybe because I had Chinese for lunch today. I did have Chinese. Go ahead. I appreciate that more. <laughs> Beef and broccoli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How y'all doing? See, it's funny again. Yeah. No, it's not. Don't touch me. Don't it touch me. Funny. It gets funny again. Don't touch me. Go ahead, Lamont. <laughs> okay. I'm 27, and my music taste pretty much reflects that. A lot of Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Wale in my library. Recently, my younger brother, who's 21, mm-hmm. put me on the NBA Young Boy. Oh, word. That's just kind of hard. Mm-hmm. I was se- skeptical at first. And I didn't expect his music to be as good, but I was pleasantly surprised. Are there any other young artists y'all were initially out on and then listened to? And found you enjoyed it. Yeet. That's a good question. Yeet. 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 Because I kept seeing it on TikTok. I'm like, who the fuck is this white well, dude? Ain't no yeah. He's wearing a ski mask. Like, come on, bro. I listened to his shit. And I was like, I am a believer. You know who brought me back? I was somebody who was in on, got back out on, and now I'm back in on again. Mm. Little Yachty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yachty's like this, bro. He'll yeah. have them waves where it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like a parabola. That strike, that strike, John, in the clubs, bro. Banger. Oh, man. Banger. He got, he's back for real. He could drop a whole album right now. I mean, he did just drop an album, but yeah, he's back. I don't know. I mean, I was a little skeptical of a uh, little Tyler. Low Tyler. Ooh, Low Tyler's my. I bigger. Got the way. <laughs> I don't know if I want Jay the way to old Ruby Rose. Yeah. I was like, oh, Low Tyler little, got some shit. This little brother. You see that dude on TikTok? Like, I get money, but I can't go scream. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He he. He's not a pain. I'm like that. <laughs> so he's joking. Yes. Okay. okay. But it's funny, and he's actually like he's saying shit that's catchy, but it's crazy. Okay. I'm like Doc Rivers. I can't run the play. <laughs> <laughs> I think you asked for more uh, relationship stuff, or like opinion stuff, or whatever. Whatever you asked for. Yeah. Last so time. I remember I when I was that. telling you advice stuff. Mm-hmm. Hold off. We'll do that on a Patreon where it's like. Okay. Advice stuff. Mm. Oh, oh, hold so on. So like everything that's advice, just like putting your back. Bad up. advice from okay. NTS. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Pretty much. Real life advice. <laughs> okay. This might have been asked before, but uh, it was said on here. To the greatest podcast in the world, a.k.a. NTS, you guys have any edible stories? Yes. <laughs> that you would like to share? Yes. Um, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go first. Mine's simple. But the first, time, first and only time I took an edible, um, I just felt like I was sinking into the couch, and I just could not get up, bro. It was over. Mm. Like, I, w- I was just unbelievably high. And I didn't even take a lot. At least I don't think. I think I took like a little corner piece. Of it's what? A, I don't know, it was a chocolate. Whatever chocolate it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and like the little punch bar, whatever they call them. Okay. Um, and yeah, bro, like it took about an hour to kick in. Maybe oh. maybe a little bit less. And I was cooked, bro. Cooked. Mm. I was in New York this weekend. <laughs> and they got uh, dispensaries now. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unofficial, oh, yeah. like little. Yeah, weed's legal in uh, 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 yeah. New York. It's been for a while. But Come on. I never saw a dispensary there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was like a, I guess they have ones where you could have, a, you have to have a membership, which is like, uh, that's kind of corny. Yeah. But there was just like this random place. They were like, crazy. no credit cards. It has to be cash only, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, still federally illegal. Mm. Um, but. What? Why are you finger face? That's like it's that. federally illegal. You have to go to ATM to cure leaf. What are you talking about? No, I don't. Out? Yes, you do. No, you can use a card. You I use a card at cure leaf. Not a debit card. Credit card. A, deb- oh, a debit, debit card. card, no credit oh, card. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's credit. Oh, I definitely remember using my credit. Like, government debit. money, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, but that was, that's what happened. Hmm. That's crazy. Putting weed on credit is. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pay it off later. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pay you back. <laughs> It just, it just feels like <laughs> junky shit. Like, hit your credit card. Yeah, somebody definitely stole my need card. I just need this Alabama Kush right now. <laughs> yeah, Matt, bro, if you can go to Cure Leave and use a credit card. <sighs> They're trying to buy weed on my credit card. Niggas I've never running, done that before. Running that niggas, up. Niggas are running up that limit. I, I, running that up. There's mm. definitely some niggas that over. do that. Mm. Okay. Niggas got like $3,000 limits. They can just use now straight pounds. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. saying that. What was your uh, edible story? Yeah. Oh, mine's like... Uh, when you're used to or you like smoked weed, like smoking it, and then you like eat it for the first time, like that first experience is very jarring, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is what I'm going to describe now. It's my 22nd. This is my 20th or my 22nd birthday. Mm-hmm. No, it's my 22nd birthday, mm-hmm. and I'm in I'm in school. We're in the apartment. Um, shout out to my boy Dom. Um, my boy Dom, he's like, you know, we're all chilling in the apartment. And I guess a couple of his friends from out of town, because he's from Canada, a couple of his friends from Canada came up f- to visit some other people. And they was like, all right, yeah, you know, they brought him some weed or whatever to like, they're going to make edibles. Like they were going to make brownies for us. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right. I think they either made brownies or they made them here. I don't forget. I forget. I think they brought the brownies. Mm. So we bring the brownies. And it's just my crew, of you know, from from school. And we're all adventurous in the drug game, <laughs> some more than others. Adventurous in the drug game. Yeah, we're adventurous in. Anyone uh, graduate the shrooms yet? Huh? I said they graduated the shrooms yet. You know, one day I know one definitely did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we we know who it is. Yeah, yeah, he he been that life. Yeah. Um, um. So we we all tried. We're like, all right. Uh, my boy Dean, he was like, yo, just be, be sure. Like, I want you all guys to all understand mm. that for you first times when you take this, take a little bit because it's going to take a while to drop. It's going to take at least an hour or two to drop. So don't go too crazy. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I take a little quarter corner of one brownie, eat it, whatever. Party ensues about two, two and a half hours in. Mm. I'm like, bro, I don't feel shit. <laughs> And I'm I'm asking my niggas, it's Rashad like, man, I don't feel shit. I don't, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. feel. Everybody's like, I don't really feel shit. <laughs> so I was like, all right, we got a bunch. <laughs> and so we still, the chicks are here. We we interact, we cool and whatever. I'm like, all right, let's take some more. I don't know why I decided to take another half, or I finished the brownie that I had. Oh God! So I had a quarter, mm-hmm. and I finished the other three quarters. Oh no! You was feeling bold that day, bro. When I tell you, I probably never scared the hoes more in my life <laughs> because we all eating right. Yeah, we just start chilling, macking, and then we start. It kicks in, 
and we all simultaneously just get the in, most intense <laughs> giggles <laughs> ever. Like just mad, like <laughs> 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 like yo nigga, like yo nigga I'm hungry, and like we were just. <laughs> somebody took somebody's bag of Doritos yeah. and was eating another nigga. And we just thought that was the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> so Doritos. And we're like crying, <laughs> laughing. And all I remember, I just seen them two chicks going like this. <laughs> <laughs> just these looking niggas, at each other. These niggas going to fuck each other. Okay. So they left. <laughs> what the fuck going on? They left, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And it was just a bunch of us, uh, just a, a fucking gaggle of niggas just, just giggling. giggling. A gaggle. Just a gaggle. niggas just giggling. Yeah. <laughs> and then all I remember is like, we started taking the edible like around nine, mm -hmm. went to sleep, woke up like around 11 o'clock, high still. Oh, God. In the morning, had to take the train home mm. the next day. So I woke up high. So if you guys know from. I basically had to take two trains. Anybody that knows that Montclair State to Trenton, pretty Trenton or Hamilton, Hamilton or whatever, and then having to go back down, yeah. that's at least a, you got to switch to like two to three trains, yeah. and then a then a light rail. Yeah, so I oh, think, actually no, you take it. Yeah, ha Montclair to, to Trenton, and, and then mm -hmm. yeah, you go from oh you do to go to Caucus, Caucus. to Ugh. Caucus, yeah, to Trenton, goddamn, and then Trenton on light rail home or yeah. Hamilton Trenton to right. Burlington, yeah, uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. I did all. I did that whole thing high. Mm -hmm. That was a miserable experience because it's like you high, but you can't. You want to go to sleep, but you really can't sleep because you don't mm -hmm. want to oversleep. Yeah, I don't want to end up in Atlantic City or some shit, or I don't want to end up in Europe. I don't want to do that because I've done that before. Mm. Oh, you what you have? I've done that like on a trip on a train from Trenton to like Newark or something. You I fell, fell asleep? asleep and I woke up in, in New York. York. In <laughs> New York, you were in station. I was like, "What the fuck?" A bum, a bum was kissing your neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby, hey baby, <laughs> welcome to the Big Apple. <laughs> Wake up, sunshine. So yeah, I did I did that once, and then I was like, "All right, let me get back on the next train." Went back down to Newark. <sighs> mm. But yeah, and that I didn't even sober up till I got home. Okay. A couple hours after I got home, and that and that's at like, at that point it's like four or five p.m. Mm. I started for the number, so yeah, that was mm. Mm. Yeesh. Mm. <laughs> gassed, gassed, bro. On that note, you ready? How much time we got? We're at two sixteen, so yeah. however much time you want. What you got? Buckle up. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, God. <laughs> first, I want to say, try the nineteen oh six pills. First of all. At the dispensary. What the hell are you talking about? Alpha, 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 alpha. They got weed pills now. Some shits are amazing. This is they didn't really do much for me. I gotta try them again. You gotta, you, uh, I mean, you take, did you take two at a time? Depends on what what you have. What you the, get. the orange one. Did you get the two and a half or the five? Five. Maybe you might need two. I don't know, nigga. You, uh -uh. you big. might need two of them then. Yeah. Cause they make me feel good. <laughs> Cause my coworker just gave us. He was like, "Yo, look at what I got." I'm like, oh wow, I see it. Nineteen oh six pills. Yeah, they 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 got different functions and they all work the very well. A five. Alpha five definitely started that. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. But uh, arousal. <laughs> Which one did you take? I, I I've been taking the bliss ones for like bliss? every almost every day. Ah, That's so bliss I is great for. Probably see me with a big ass smile. Yeah, reason. they give you perm permagrin, okay, which is a real yeah. That's thing. what it is. Okay, so it's great for happy hour. Yeah, uh, you be tuning smiling. out squab squabbling siblings. Tune give yourself, <laughs> give me yourself a gold star. So you, you use this for the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Do you give yourself Thanks, a gold guys. star? Uh, road trips and yeah, permagrin. No, not even. It's not even a joke. Like, which especially is this at? I, they have it at Curly. They do. Oh my They're man. pretty. They're good price too. Really? Yeah, I just check. That's why like, he been posting on Instagram yeah. more. I've been seeing. I, I've <laughs> been, been seeing the, the prices on Instagram. Put off the blitz. I've been checking purely like, yo, they stepped their product up a little bit. I went away for. I wasn't going to them for a while. I checked on. They got like five, ten packs of pre rolls now. Yeah, they. Be, I'm like, okay, <laughs> hold yeah, on. Yo, this is actually really funny. So they got one called Genius for Brain Power, and they said it's great for <laughs> when you need incredible focus. Yeah. Putting together IKEA furniture. Yeah. Gaming and when coding I, I, when and I defeating edit, procrastination. Edit. Or when I have a shoot or something, that shit, what? That shit works. I don't, like, understand, what? Like, I don't understand how weed is illegal all over. Like, I kind of want to try this shit. They're great. I want to try it. I too. take them every every time I go to every time I go out every Sunday. This mix. I take them every when I go out. I'm gonna when take I was a, out last night, I'm gonna I was take a rouse on DJ. Feeling good. 
<laughs> it's gonna get real horny in that. <laughs> I already be horny when I DJ. He's gonna spin with his dick. <laughs> You just gonna use the switch when he switches on this. Yeah, the he shit. Just he's my, the my shit. hand on each. There's a fader. <laughs> just cross fade, <laughs> cross fade with my cock. Yes, it really TikTok. works. I'm, I'm curious. All, All of them, bro. They, I'm they, sure they, they work very. Mm. Well. I'm gonna try. It. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Pay is pay week. So, uh, sorry. So, this is when uh, I was working for Bellator and we had a fight in L.A. Mm -hmm. And one of the PA runner dudes was like, "This is when we." First got legal in California, so this is like one because Cali was the first state. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess probably like twenty sixteen, maybe twenty seventeen. I forget what it was around that time. Mm -hmm. And I remember going to the dispensary, and it was crazy because it's something new and yeah. seeing all the different types of people going in the dispensary. That's that's one thing I noticed too when I first went. To, it's like they everybody, loves every type, me. and they it was like, Yo, every this, type of person. This is incredible. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't. The shit I got wasn't from it, but. This one kid, though, a PA runner, he he was helping us out, and he's like, and this is the crazy story about this. He he said, you know, he talked to him, getting those like, oh, where are you from? He's like, me and this is with my boy Jay. He's like, oh, we're from Jersey. Shout out to Jay Clockwork. Yeah, shout out to Jay. He's like, we're from Jersey. And he's like, oh, really, Jersey? He's like, where y'all from? We're from Burlington. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, really? My uh, uh, wife is from Burlington. You know, you, you know, uh, and he said the kids' names. You know, Rob Davini, and we both like freaked out because like. Like what the he fuck? Knew yeah. the kid that we grew up and like hung out with. How and like bro, how would you like even know small him? Small world type shit. Yeah, that's crazy. And uh, <laughs> so like that was crazy. So he so he was selling everybody weed because he uh -huh. worked at a dispensary and he was doing this on the side. Yeah. And he gives us this gummy, and the gummies were so you know the the milligrams were like this shit was a hundred. Mm -hmm. A By single itself? a single By gummy. Itself. It was a little it was a little like gummy thing. It was just like, but it was so in the package. <laughs> it was like kind of pre-cut. It was a full gummy, but it was like pre like oh, okay. yeah, they, they, but it uh, was it wasn't it was cut fully. They it was sectioned it. Yeah. And then yeah. and then yeah. on the tiny like part of the package it said, Oh, you so you're supposed to Break if you're off starting off if you're starting off, you should do eight mil they say you should do eight to ten. Mm -hmm. Like maybe smaller, but like the normal per, if you smoke already, mm -hmm. do eight to ten. Okay. I, we didn't uh, we didn't notice at the time, right. <laughs> so we said, "Oh, how much should we take?" Because we're not gonna take the whole thing. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, a cor a, a corner should be fine. Mm -hmm. That's twenty five milligrams." Oh God! And you're supposed to start with eight to ten. <laughs> I take I do the do the do the corner. Yeah. Like, oh, you'll be good doing a corner. <laughs> so Jay was actually leaving. He had a flight, but I stayed like an extra day. Mm -hmm. But we're both at the hotel in our room, and I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> and this is this is L.A., and at this time is El Nino. So El Nino is like when it rains. <laughs> it's just raining. But it, it don't happen like so very often. Yeah. The time that it happened was the first time since we, I lived in California. Yeah. That was like 1999, 2000. This is like 15, about 15, 16 mm -hmm. years later. So it got a little weird. So I'm starting to feel it. And I'm like, I'm going to go downstairs. I go downstairs. The elevator was taking forever so to you, open. So you thought? Yes. <laughs> the elevator was taking forever to open. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then it finally opens. There's people coming in with me. I go downstairs. I just uh, walk around like I'm trying to walk it off, trying to walk it off, whatever. <laughs> just feeling high. I'm trying to walk it off. I'm trying to walk it off. <laughs> I go back upstairs, and I'm chilling in the room with Jay. Jay's like, I remember the uh, it was a Falcons-Packers game, playoff game. Mm -hmm. And I just remember laying in the bed, and the bed felt like I was laying in like a cloud. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this feels good. And everything was going slow. Like, the play that was going on felt like it was going forever. <laughs> I'm like, Julio's why is this, going crazy? I'm like, why is this still like, why is this play? How how's long is this play taken? Clay Matthews. Like the play clock is going down. Like, <laughs> why don't they snap the ball? It's been five minutes. <laughs> so then, what the hell? so then, like, I'm watching the game and I'm feeling good, and I'm like, and I guess they're doing construction and then at the hotel, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yo, Jay, you hear that? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's is construction. I was like, all right. And Jay was like brushing his teeth, and I'm like, sound like a jackhammer. Brushing his teeth. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, how long are you going to brush your teeth? <laughs> you been brush your teeth for like 10 minutes. 
It was like two minutes. Not even. Yo, two time, minutes. yo, you were in a different like, dimension, bro. What's going on? So I go <laughs> back, and I'm like, I'm gonna go back out. Elevator's <laughs> taking forever again. <laughs> the same people. That oh, was an elevator the no. first time. <laughs> we're in the elevator with me. All right. <laughs> so I'm like, like <laughs> and I go downstairs, and this has freaked me out. There was a, so our crew, because we had the hotels booked for our show, yeah, and we're getting out, and I guess a, another convention's coming in. Mm. It was a sign language convention. <laughs> or it was oh, like no. a deaf people. <laughs> oh, no. So, Everything's quiet downstairs. Oh, no. Everybody's doing sign language. And I'm freaking no. the fuck out. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go back and say to make sure I'm all right to go to Jay. <laughs> Just to make sure it's good. And it's like, yeah, it's like, yo, no one's talking downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of people signing. Coming up against <laughs> Yo, oh, no, imagine comes down to just a said, bunch of. He said it's, nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. I swear, it's crazy. <laughs> so then I go. Everybody sounds like the adults from, Char from Charlie Brown. So I go back and I go take. I go to the elevator again. And the same people from the first time were in the elevator. Oh my again. God. Again. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so then, like, Jay's Lee, he leaves for his flight. Tripping. I go. <sighs> one of my boys actually come pick me up and, <laughs> and, like, hang out. We go to, like, Pink Taco or some shit like that. <laughs> and I couldn't eat because I'm just, like, so fried that I, like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> and I forget what celebrity that we saw at the fucking spot, too. Uh -huh. But I'm just so fucking whacked out. <laughs> we go to some other, I think, uh, fucking Saddle Rant, some other famous. It was, like, on Sunset Strip. And it's raining, and it's all freaking me the fuck out. It's all freaking me the fuck out. The rain I'm was just freaking like, you yeah, because it's raining. It don't rain. It don't rain. It's fucking. It never rains in Southern California. It never rains in Southern California. And I'm like, yeah, why maybe. is it raining? And I'm walking outside. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's <laughs> the weirdest day ever. I'm freaking the fuck out. There's water coming out of the sky. <laughs> the fuck it's fucking dead. There's motherfucking dead people, people in, in, the in, the in the basement. <laughs> These people in the elevator keep following me. And I tell, <laughs> and I tell my boy. For 30 years. I tell my boy what's going on. He's like, oh, yeah, I got, like, yeah, you, oh. you are. <laughs> you're definitely like, we got to try to bring you down somehow or something. <laughs> And I just, I was just out of it the whole day. Oh and I'm like, God. yeah, man, I just, I'm, I'm just going to go to the airport. Like, just take me to the airport. And what? Like, like, your flight don't leave for two days. I just, I just, just, I just, 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 just want to get ready to leave. <laughs> and I get there <laughs> and it's like, it's so early in the, in the time that like nothing's open. <laughs> like no. Just in the airport. Yeah. yeah none of the. Oh my God. Food, like, like nothing's they, open. They filling, the coffee, they filling up the coffee machines. At and the I just remember. Nuts. I'm just remember like coming down a little bit, and I just remember the nigga that plays Joy and the Scammer was there. <laughs> what the fuck? But he wasn't Joy and the Scammer. He was just, just regular. He was just regular. Uh, his, his, I forget his like, name. So you mean you saw Lamont at the airport? <laughs> Get out of my Caucasian house. <laughs> but I just remember like just. <laughs> Ronald Jurassic Knuckle Sandwich. <laughs> the, ele the elevator, because like the shit was taking for elevator was taking forever. Yeah. The same motherfuckers kept going in the elevator. <laughs> they probably looking at you like you saw the elevator at the airport. <laughs> and and then just the people not talking downstairs in the lobby. I know that part. And, and I'm what? telling you, it wasn't just like a couple people. It was like <laughs> it was a, it was a sign language. It was, like, it was a sign language convention. Like hundred maybe. <laughs> I, that would freak me out and, without being high. And my not aunt talking. is deaf. Shout out to my aunt. <laughs> Shout out to your aunt. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that? that was that Yo. was that was one of those like, oh, because oh, that's what happened. Mm. That's crazy. Good that, that's what happens too. You think that's what my, my boy, but you think you're about to die, or you think you're about to have a heart attack. Oh, you like definitely. A, I've been there. You are having a panic attack. Yeah. And I'm doing all the stuff to like look up like what's wrong like can you can something happen can you? weed kill you yeah all this stuff and then it's just like no you're just having a, a bad trip yeah and then i learned once you go through that one bad trip you're good you realize you're fine yeah like you just got you just have to embrace it mm -hmm. and then had ride it out <laughs> you said there's out. two deaf people you <laughs> imagine two four, thousand four, two thousand a whole two thousand. lobby full that's crazy <laughs> silent no, I, it's not necessarily not, silent. But be, like, if they're all, if they're completely dead, it's because like the the hotel that we said was like one of those kind of like nice. <laughs> it was one of those nice LA hotels. 
It wasn't like a Holiday and Marriott type shit. It was like a really nice one. So it was like all these people in there. Hey, what's all these clown horns? <laughs> Yo, it was, it was. That's crazy. I don't think they're making that, like, to each other. Just, like, there's other times edibles don't make you like. Yeah. There are times uh, they happened to Jay too. I remember on his party he did this. You can't talk. I don't want to experience. You want to talk, but you can't. But mm-hmm. it's, nothing's really. You so had you, that game? No, yeah. no, I, I, I have a story there. Let me see. Oh, oh God, just, what's but that's story? what happens. Like you'll, you'll want to talk. Like you want to talk to people, but you're like your mouth won't open <laughs> to speak. <laughs> but you'd be like, and I did it one time. Like I'm just like, I went on my notes and was like, I really want to talk to you, but I think I'm too high to. <laughs> <laughs> this man over here, I really want to writing messages. I, I promise. Did I did that once with, uh, I was hanging out with with y'all, y'all uh, Couriers, one yeah. of Couriers sisters, mm-hmm. and uh, Connor Richardson's older brother. Cam, that's mm-hmm. my and guy. And we were, we made our own can of butter one time <laughs> to make cupcakes, <laughs> and I ate a cupcake. And I'm like, this shit ain't fucking. Who? This shit ain't. This shit ain't, this shit ain't nothing. And this is the time when I was also drinking too. Mm-hmm. So I'm drinking, and then that night, I remember I wasn't talking. But then the next day, everybody's like, "Yo, MJ was so fun last night." I was like, I don't remember doing any of that because I don't even know if I said words last night. <laughs> so like, just just real quick, uh, I have multiple edible stories mm-hmm. if for our real listeners they would know the one way i was talking about when i was passed out on the floor while y'all did a whole podcast yeah you were so high i man. was yo God. i only took a corner crazy. i took a small corner he he, 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 he he took three couch cushions and put them on the floor and just slept, and slept on the like whole a, time and there was a football game on i think I, was that a bro I, I don't remember the whole time but gone okay, gone go gone but so <laughs> Was hanging out with some friends, uh, and one of their cousins had came down from from Boston. Mm. So they brought down these Rice Krispie treats. Like, oh yeah, we got some edibles. It was like, all right, bet, cool, let's do it. So we take these. Uh, we finished a bag of edibles, mm. uh, and you know, just like everybody else, she's sitting there. Uh, ain't doing anything. This shit ain't doing a goddamn thing. So yeah. like, yeah, all right, yo, let's let, let's grab the bottle. We about to start drinking. Oh, we about God. to start drinking. So we go downstairs. We we about to watch the movie Twenty One Bridges. We never got to the movie. <laughs> never got to the movie because the moment we sat down, yeah, it dropped. Me and my boy, we looked at each other. And we was just like, "Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is." So we over there going the, the, this whole night, just just vibing, and then. Fuck it. Montel. It was Montel. Okay. <laughs> fuck fuck. I'm trying to keep the name. Montel. Yeah, Montel was having a bad trip on it. Okay. My man started throwing up out of oh, his nose. Yeah. Oh, just, come on now. Yeah, Keenan just. Oh, yeah. I'm spreading his ass on, on the internet. Bro, my he was, was, to do him like he, was, he, was, he was having a bad time. Oh, just bad <laughs> time. Up out his and nose. I'm just over there. Vibing in a corner, talking to myself like, "Yo, this is so great, yo!" Like I was right there at the high of high. Where if I would have went any higher, any higher it would have been a bad jump. But off. any lower, I was just like, yeah. "It was perfect, it's perfect." <laughs> and his cousin just, just destroying his girl. <laughs> his cousin's over there like, "Yo, Keenan is such a vibe." Like <laughs> you, he's like my man's over there kicking. And like and, and uh, they're like, "Yo, Keenan, why don't you why don't you sit down on the beanbag?" I'm like, "Nah, yo, fuck that beanbag." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That bean bag, I ain't saying that. I'm having a great time. Monta- meanwhile, Montel is just over here, just looking like the scene from Family Guy. Just, <laughs> <laughs> we over here trying to console the man. You know, oh Montel's God. a big Trey Songs fan. It's like, let's put on some, some Trey Song for him to sing, right? <laughs> yeah, because that'll help. He's not, a, he's not gonna have a good time in a few months, <laughs> bro. He went to go sing, and it was. Just, <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you. <laughs> I, I wish we never. I started <laughs> getting I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> Soon as we, I started crying like yo. Say ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, my other one over here talking about some guy. Yo, we gotta call nine one one. Yo, we gotta oh, call hell my nah. man's die. I'm like, we're not calling <laughs> the hospital. We're not sending this man to a hospital for them to sit there, you give him a water sandwich. You gotta do like a water sandwich. You gotta do like they do in the movies, just just drop him off at the movie car. <laughs> just drop him off the hospital. Leave. I'm like, <laughs> we're not doing this for a stupid ass hospital. But he no. will. Be, he's gonna come down. No, he's yeah. gonna come down. <laughs> 
But bro, that night was funny as shit, bro. <laughs> you say it. Funny as hell. The, only, the lesson is if you do edibles, just embrace. Embrace, embrace the high. Em, embrace the high. Whatever it is. Yeah. Just embrace it. It's not going to hurt That's you. That's why I did. I just laid on the couch and I just yeah, let it. Just like, control it me. Feels, it's, everything feels better. Like, even dry, like driving. That's what I'm. Bad, that, like, but that's what I'm afraid of with trying driving for the first. The only time. thing is like driving. My legs feel like they're inflated. There was a couple of times when I. I'm not driving. Well, that's I'm not driving. Like you got elephant titus, nigga. Yeah. He kicked his feet up like off, the, off the gas. So. <sighs> and it does take long for some like that happened before my boy lived over by like docks. Yeah. And I took the road to like come home like past like fucking. It's not even that far. Like Green Acre. Yeah, but it seemed like, <laughs> but it took, like you an hour. I'm like. And literally going <laughs> past the police station, like, yo, why, why am I not home? I should be home at this point. Bro, I know the first time I got high, I, I was I here? I, I, I might have been here. You was here? Yeah, we smoked in the back. We smoked in the backyard. Oh, the back court. We smoked back here, and that was one of the first times I got high, bro. I got so high, nigga. It, I, it, 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 what, it's probably when I had one of the pool parties. Exactly, bro. I got so damn high. I was like, I can't even go home like this. I went to Wawa first and stopped, thought about it. <laughs> got random food. I wasn't even hungry at this point. I'm just sitting in the parking lot, and I'm driving home, bro. I swear to God, I could hear the lights as I was driving by. Like you know, you know, the orange. It was just like, boom, boom. I was like, oh, I'm cooked. Music. Oh, I'm cooked. So much. I'm telling you, go, <laughs> go to Cure Leaf. Get some of them bliss, the bliss ones. I'll try it. You'll feel. And One, two, I will fall asleep with a smile on my face. Like trying to go Thursday. Can, you can feel it. Them bliss ones. How many did you take at a time? Like how many milligrams? It was just one pill? I was at one point, I was taking, I'll usually take one at night just to like feel good mm -hmm. before I go to bed and like maybe meditate and like mm -hmm. listen to music and shit. Mm -hmm. But I think I was having a tolerance, you know, a tolerance. I was, I had to do two. Like when I go out, I'll Don't do perk two yourself out. I'll do two of them. <laughs> when you, when you the other ones, the, the, white, the white ones <laughs> are like a boot. They call it, you can take them, they're only two and a half, but you could take them. Like by itself, but there's supposed to be a boost. Mm -hmm. So like so whatever you smoke, yeah. it'll boost whatever oh, you God. smoke. Oh God! Yes, that's what hookah does. If, if yes. you didn't know, <laughs> if you drink and smoke hookah, <laughs> say, that's what it does. He busting off the peel. He busting off the peel. Yo, they're only like for like the little pack of four. They're only mm -hmm. like five dollars. It's like that. Mm -hmm. And for like the, the nice price, man. The, tw I saw the, the twenty pills, they're like thirty, thirty-five or something like for twenty pills. They got the one, the one in Edgewater. They got a myriad. I just need the cure leaf. They're one in Borentown too. Yeah, because I bought stock in them, and then the shit still ain't start Ooh. going up in in cure leaf. Yeah, give it some time. Can you? Can I need it to hurry up. I feel like they shit. They getting my money. <laughs> <laughs> they getting a hell of people money, and, and my shit yeah, keeps but the stock ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it don't always work like that. Yeah, I yeah. took stock in AMC. That ain't work. <laughs> you should take it, but before it blew up, I so said they got stock in Blockbuster. <laughs> I think there's one left. Yeah, it's like a gimmick that it's the last one. No. Mm. Mm. Boo. Those are good old days. Yeah. The right good over, old damn, days. that is the pizza place now. Or Yeah. Yeah. No. The no. No. Oh, no. Is that um that dollar store? That's what it used to be. That's the block that used to be. Yeah. Closer. Yeah. In that area somewhere. No, it, it was that. It's dollar store. Damn, those are good old days. It was. Mm. Get Wait it. for a game to come out. We got one more real quick. Get it for a week. <laughs> yeah, you get the game. You like, oh, I could try this game out for you. This will be the buy transition it. to the end. Mm. But now you just got to buy a whole right. These, oh, mm. these kids don't understand. They don't get it. They wouldn't get it. They don't understand, man. <laughs> Given that, a question. Would you all consider a second potathon where you all take edibles? Yes. If you reach a number yeah. of subscribers or live donations. <laughs> that would have for I need okay. a fucking potathon for that nigga. I'll do that next <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, next week. <laughs> do that <laughs> next episode. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I would do it. That would be all right, so this is why all right. We can do that. Mm hmm That would have to be Patreon only. Mm-hmm. Because I just fear of how fucked up I'm gonna look. <laughs> That can't be on public consumption. We all got to wear sunglasses. There's got to be some type of barrier for that. Just wear sunglasses. I'm willing to do it. Mm. Mm. But that's got to be for Patreons only. Okay. Like make a private YouTube link. Mm -hmm. Or just, I think you can go live on Patreon as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can I go live on Patreon. But I'm, I'm saying for super chat purposes, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm too in the public for there just be video keynote on the internet high. 
At this point, it don't oh, matter. In the public like that, day? Yeah, for me, it don't matter. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer, <laughs> I prefer to put some barriers on me just being high on the internet. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I don't mind doing it, okay. but that's what we got to do. So if that's something you want to see for real, for real. Join the Patreon. Like, rate, subscribe. <laughs> Let's see. Like, How about subscribe. this? How about this? How about this? Throw everybody a bone. Mm. If by next week. Okay. Let's say we get ten <laughs> new subscribers. Four. We will. We will. We will seriously consider for Patreon. Patreon. Okay. What? Go no. What? No. You was like, if we get ten subscribers, we'll seriously, we will seriously consider, consider it. No. Yeah. <laughs> or, or what's the number that you have that you say we're definitely doing it? If we get, I'll give me a tw- number. Say twenty-five. That's the same thing we did nah, before. That's a little. I need. I need more than twenty-five because the stakes are higher. We're high. Fifty. Huh. I thought you said 10. What? No, I'm saying 25 like, is what it do what it he, took to get the original pot of He's saying 10, he'll consider th- But I'm it. saying he, what's the number think about it. that you'll definitely do it? 30. Nah, 50. 50. Damn. 50. I feel like it's a What lot. about just not not a potathon, just like a I mean I mean we we do have 26,000 followers now on Instagram. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm going to put my idea. foot down. If we get 30 new subscribers, mm-hmm. We will do something high that's at least two hours long. <laughs> it's gonna be way longer than that. Oh, uh, <laughs> feel like it could be because I think Thank I might have figured something out. We just can't use these cameras. I used um, my other ones. Yeah, because you know these are too good. <laughs> you said they're too good. <laughs> yeah, it's the technical. I'll explain later. But uh, mm. the movies. Oh yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, we still gotta do that. How high while high? We're we we no. Nah, if we watch how high while high, I might die. Bars. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that shit is too funny. When this episode drop, producer Q is gonna be like, "Why? Why would you go lower? No, we're we're we're, we're going for the 50. <sighs> say fifty. Well, we'll I said see. thirty. We'll say fifty. Because he's gonna 40. say that. Let's break even. 40. All right, forty. If we get forty new subscribers. I won't say next week. I'll give it y'all to the end of the month. 40 new subscribers at the end of the month, yeah. we will give you high content. It's, it's May 8th. We we in the first week of May. We're right in the first week of May. You got at least three weeks, two, 22 days. Second, but yeah. You got time to get it together. Definitely. You, we got time. Y'all got time. So if you give me 40 subscribers. Oh, shit. We could do it on Juneteenth. <laughs> there you go. I'm yo, please, please, please. I, I want again. I want to do it because I want to get high. And watch watch a black movie. Watch a black and ass watch movie. Black on June and watch Black movies on Juneteenth. Hot live. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Hell yeah. Fuck this. I'll get. So what? We're gonna bump it up to fifty now, <laughs> but you have until Juneteenth. Yeah. I think that's well, the, week, the week before. The week yeah, before Juneteenth. The week before. The week before Juneteenth. What's that? Uh, the twelfth. June twelfth. June twelfth. Fifty by June twelfth, and we'll definitely do it. So one hundred percent. The gauntlet has been thrown. Yeah. Somebody take note of the number of Patreon subscribers we have now. So I think only Q, Q. can see that. <laughs> well, Q. Somebody we'll figure, that out. Like we'll Q. figure it out. If yeah. we have fifty Patreon people. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, just do the three dollars. I want y'all to do the fifteen. Yeah. But do the three. And then Easy. We could um have some fun. By June twelfth, give us fifty. You will get high. We'll give you at least two different high things. We'll we'll yeah. make that a new fucking whoa, category whoa, of our lives. Whoa, if we're buddy. high, if we're high, who knows what MJ will want to do with us. Honestly. So. Keep these happy pills in them. We can get them to do anything. I was talking about what he said. Uh, we'll, we'll live stream WrestleMania. Who knows? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Who? WrestleMania already yeah. passed. Apparently, well, I mean, the next. We'll just, we'll uh, we can just watch a rerun. And then apparently, Carlito's back, so that's fun. We'll watch uh, night from one time. But do you see Bad Bunny though? We'll, we'll watch 1999 WrestleMania. You see Bad Bunny? Though? Yeah, he got slammed, right? He got slammed <laughs> he a lot. You need to. You need to. He's good at selling. Now, now you can start watching ro- wrestling again. He's good at selling. He gets slammed, also, and he uh, looks like he dies. Did you see? Well, he's been in for a while, but yeah. you see Rick Ross. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rick Ross. He fucking, Ross? Yeah, you didn't see Rick Ross? He gave somebody a fucking knee to the face. He's like, ah! No. Yes. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Hilarious. Accusations. That's all I yes. remember. <laughs> False. Yeah. yeah. Accusations. That's from, that's from, I know he's that's good from, at it. from AEW. Isn't he's it? good at it, bro. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so 50 by June 12th. Mm. High content. 
Maybe not. I know everybody will participate the first one. Are you? Are you? I can't contractually participate on the record. On the record, Lamont cannot contractually participate. No, can they? Yeah, it's TSC. But right. it's TSC. So yeah. So the, again, balls in your court, people. We we can what do What you gonna this. do with them balls? What you gonna do with them balls? You gonna juggle them or you gonna let them hang by the wayside? <laughs> it's your choice. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's all right, it. guys. Once you set all your <laughs> notes, time to go. Make sure you uh, subscribe uh, to the Patreon. Yeah. Um, that's the most important thing. We want 150 by June 12th so we can get this high content off, baby. Because I like getting high, and I also like making money while doing it. And having fun with you guys, because that's the third most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to all the, uh, the, uh, the, on the podcast, on all platforms, you know. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure if you're on Apple Podcasts, go on the comment section. Leave a review, five stars. Leave a comment. Just leave something saying, yo, this is the best podcast ever. Love the podcast, whatever. And all that stuff helps us build the algorithm and all that stuff to move us up the charts so mm -hmm. that more people can share. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to us on, on YouTube. Um, we're over 5,000. We're trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. Uh, so hit on going on YouTube, uh, watch the videos there, full episodes and video content. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, uh, uh, follow us on all social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Shout out to all the new Instagram followers. We're at like how many K? Like, 27. 27 now. We're running in on thirty K. I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. I guess Rugrats <laughs> really is the hot ticket now. <laughs> Rugrats spaghetti. This is not our theory. Poles are, it's, yeah, it's not it's, our it's, theory. It's, that's real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Not yeah, yeah. Our theory. It's not even Keenan's theory. It's, it's not, not Keenan's Keenan. theory. And and I want to preface it. This was a Halloween episode, and we were like, you know what would, would go well with Halloween? Conspiracy theories. Hand in hand. This wasn't our idea. Again. We didn't come up with this. We weren't high. We First were all, all sober. He said this. <laughs> they as, don't, he, as he was introducing this. He they said, said. They said. He is not they. Words <laughs> mean things. When he says they, he indicates other people are making the idea. <laughs> you stupid fuck. You fucking Whoa. morons. <laughs> if again, no, 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 fuck, because they need fuck to them. talk too harshly <laughs> like this. Because they're they, they, they coming at us crazy in the well, comments. They're coming at us crazy. You're talking to my man crazy. Nobody talks to my man crazy. But yeah. Me. And they're, and they're talking about Mike's man. costume. It was Halloween. How, oh, they were talking about costume? Yeah, you see people say that? They said, what is Big Man wearing? They said, what the fuck? He was, he was a fat puss. Yeah. yeah. It was Halloween. It was Halloween, <laughs> fuck face. I don't know. Wig and glasses. Nobody said anything. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really say that. So, again, <laughs> I want to make mention thing. to you. If you, knowing all that information, and which is... Not information that we need to tell you. That's something that you could have gathered by yeah. watching this video for 14 seconds. Yeah. If you were in there commenting, talking about how dumb we are and all that stuff, yeah. and trying to disprove fake theories about cartoons that existed 10, 20 years ago, yeah. I need you. I tell all the people the same thing. It's the same process. There's usually a Home Depot or Lowe's near you. Nah, I need you to nah, just, just go. Nah, I need, no, no, just go with the Q route. Tell I them need, to touch grass. I need you to no, no. touch grass. You can touch the grass at any point. You can tell them to touch heaven. But what I want you to do, <laughs> I, I, yeah, you don't go to heaven for that one though. I want you to go to your near Lowe's, no Home Depot or Lowe's. Go to the um, rope section. No, no, Choose you didn't know where to go. No, you didn't. No, no, how are you this no, late? No, no. <laughs> And by my calculations, at least five feet will do. No. Get five feet of rope. No. Take it to a nice high-hanging area. Michael. No, thank you. Take one end of said rope, wrap it around your neck. No. Nope. The other end, wrap it around a sturdy, strong object. These are the uh, opinions And the opinions of, of the uh, Not That Serious podcast and all Michael, members of their end. The big one. And, <laughs> and him. Him only. This oh. is, his words does not reflect this podcast. Also, man, just keep in mind that this podcast is called Not That Serious. Like, please. I'm serious. <laughs> See, <laughs> that, that doesn't make it any better. Just, <laughs> Eliminate <I'm>, your own <laughs> existence. <laughs> Please, you make the place oh a better my place. God, bro. You will improve the status of the world. No, no, no. fuck that. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> oh God. Kill yourself. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Permanently. <laughs> Permadeath. Like the hard mode of the video game. You don't respawn. You don't come back. <laughs> Just be done with you. All right. No, I'm saying don't kill yourself. <laughs>
after I sell it. Don't kill yourself. But do go outside and touch gas and get a job. <laughs> Yes. You clearly yeah. don't have a job. If you're, if you're if you're our, you don't have a job. If you're in our comment section, but you if, need to get a job. If you're in our comment section, think, taking anything that we say seriously. If you, you comment more than twice, mistaken. you need to go to Indeed <laughs> right now because you don't have a job. And whatever job you have, you don't have a job. <laughs> you don't. You you are unemployed. <laughs> the voice actors are obviously white. So what are you talking about? The These voice actors are white. Are, so if the, the voice actor is white, black. then the character is white. No, like, I can't. wait. There's no way. Chuck, they, the kids can't be dead because the gra- they asked Grandpa to watch the kids. And what about Susie? Shut up. Shut it's up. a conspiracy yeah. theory, and it's not real. That's why it's a conspiracy theory. It's fake. Oh gosh. <laughs> you know what the word it's made up theory? It's means? made up shit. The Please. word theory. Please. We could just start with conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> Jesus God Christ. Damn, man. They didn't hear the jokes at the end? We were just like, oh, just laughing in between. Oh, my God. Gee, nobody, nobody explains <sighs> the, the fucking two plus two equals four and has jokes in between because that's facts. <laughs> we get it. We, yo, two plus two, four. <laughs> no. God damn. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Why are people so fucking dumb? Dial. That's what makes me want to go back to circle back to just killing yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. These All right. people are driving and reproducing, making more dumb niggas. <laughs> they're just trying to steal our joy. That's what. Yeah, that's doing. all it is. The haters. They see us having fun. They're like, why are these things? And, and they say, people, nah, there's no way you can have fun I, I about see, this. I see they're giving a podcast to anybody these days. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> you can. You can. Yeah, you're monkey ass. I saw one dude say, they're just talking. I was, I was so tempted to be like, it's a fucking podcast. It's a fucking podcast. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Say so you're jack fuck off, you fucking <laughs> jack off. Inbred moronic fucking cum stain. It's a podcast. Uh, what if a podcast without talking is a fucking silent video? Fucking down idiot. there in the lobby, like MJ's people. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's, this, that's yo. God took the gift of speech away from those poor deaf people yep. and gave it to this fucking moron. <laughs> he gets to speak. We don't know that he's not deaf. We don't. I know, know that he's a fucking moron. That's true. No, fuck these people. We'll put on again. Everybody, yo, we need to go back to communist time. Right? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Bring, all right. Bring, bring back the guillotine. Yeah, they need to just kill niggas for speaking. Because, like, <laughs> you gotta go. There's no punishment. Like you said, he was talking out of turn. <laughs> he's talking out of turn. He's talking out of turn. But he's, he's talking smart, saying obvious shit. I guess, it, I guess they, they're just talking. Yeah, fuck, fuck dick. <laughs> it's a podcast. Oh, get oh, off, yeah. get off and our dicks. And shout out to the YouTube commenter that said, I think peeing in the girl should be called a lemon meringue pie. That was good. Ooh, that, was, that, that was great. That, that was, was real the, good. That, shout out to you. That was impressive, actually. That was an impressive comment. <laughs> and I, actually, I, I know I screenshotted it, and I'm going to end on that note because I know. Yeah, they need a shout out for real. Shout out to at P-S-Y-C-O-S-I-S, psychosis on YouTube, yeah. who said, I think pissing in a girl should be called a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> that... Mwah. And um, yeah, man, get a job. That's it. That's that's all we got. That's it. All right. That's it. I ain't got enough. Cut all right, and peace. Print. Yeah, all that good stuff. I'm about to say, don't press the button. <laughs>